Hello and welcome everyone to D&D &D with The Rolling Left. This is the new sort of official gaming channel for a bunch of lefties on YouTube who want a fun, safe place to game. Um, and so I guess at this point, I'm going to, who am I turning it over to? Because uh, we're such a professional outfit that we haven't actually worked all those Thank details you. out. Uh, micro right away. Okay, all right. So um, we're gonna, you're just going to throw you in. Micro is going to give us the recap of what happened last time. Last time, last time, we had our final, um, this, this, we had an introduction to all the lovely circus artists, and then they had uh, their last performance of the season before they, they pack up and start venturing about uh, across the desert and then hope hopefully I'm across the desert and then uh through up some mountains to get to the new lands <laughs> but before we uh they we got we got to desert wandering we we needed some money so we decided to take up some some jobs of clearing our sewer and that went reasonably well <laughs> We only had two people go unconscious. <laughs> so yeah, that that is now we are we when we ended, we had we were basically on the way out of the sewer. That's where we ended. Yep, and you have an egg. Oh fuck. Um, egg. Egg. Yes, you, you have an egg. 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 I have the egg. <laughs> yes, egg. you have a hook horror egg. And egg. <laughs> um, you get out. Yeah, uh, you are thanked by the uh, people who were there, and um, he takes you back out of the sewer area. Uh, and I'm assuming you can make your way back to the circus reasonably easily. You have your money, so you can add all of that. Do we tell them about the nest that they'll sue us on top of? Uh, it's gone now. <laughs> the other one. Hmm. What other one? Beneath the rubble. The one no, beneath no, the cave. No, Isn't the one we destroyed? One. No, was it? there was an there was the like entrance to the underdog was under the like cave. That's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I guess. You just decided not to do that. <laughs> but we'll, we'll tell them that, like, be careful. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yeah, just be careful down it's there. It's dangerous to go Yeah, along. clearly. Uh, heavily armored knights where they excavate. Got it. Yeah. Like, don't, just, don't just take mm -hmm. it for granted. Mm -hmm. and, and all that. And, yeah. Also, how much did we get paid, boss? I believe this one was a hundred gold per for everyone and you had decided to put 10% back into the um into the circus coffers okay so we get 90 okay that's reasonable. here is another question um so the money that we each got paid from our circus performance right mm -hmm. did like the circus get paid anything or did they did it make anything? Is this like our personal pocket money or whatever? Or is it like this is the money that we've made and we have to decide how much we want to give to the circus? I believe that I had um basically told you what you guys personally were uh, brought oh, in. Okay. I'm not a hundred percent sure I'd have to go back how and I remember it too. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 It's okay. It's it's just to do with like I just wanted to be sh to to know because yeah. in this situation we had to divide it up. You know, mm -hmm. should we have done it beforehand? If we hadn't, you know, we could fix it now. It's all good. No. Uh. I I think how I did it is I just had already uh separated out just what you guys got. So, um, because yeah, it it a good portion of what you guys make goes to the circus and the other people who are on the circus and all of that. 
Speaking of which, you may remember uh, that last week I had you roll D100s. And that will come up in this week. But before we do that, um, is there anything else you guys are talking about as you go back to the... Um, by now, it's probably getting towards the almost the morning, and you are headed back to your camp, to the circus area. Yeah, the bad would. hunters. What? Who's a bad hunter? I thought we were pretty good. Yeah, we got a job done. Yeah, Vianney seems wouldn't un know. That seems unnecessary you criticism. Barged, you barged in. I did not. Then Marble did. I mean, well, look, several of you worked. bashed look, in. Look, I think than... I think we should probably um, maybe all go to sleep and then sit together at breakfast and do a little debrief. Uh, it was the first time we had worked together. We hadn't really talked about plans beforehand. So I think before, you know, we should talk about how things went, what was good, what could we be improved upon. We, we, can, we can give ourselves, what is it, feedback, positive criticism. Uh, way. Well, also just some tactics, because I noticed, for instance, that we all tend to use ranged attacks. Yeah, well. And that's just going to be important. Doesn't. Yeah, the lizard. Except for the they lizard. have a name. <laughs> that Except means for so do we, and you call us weird shit. So you know, this is yeah, now you know how now you know what it feels like, Walks. When you call me, what do you Volks call me? Anyway? Has a meaning. What, what do you Volks call me? Is exact, calling me Volks is exactly the same as calling you what I call you. What What is it that you call me? Putting him on the spot. Maker. Maker. Okay, well, see, that's not my name. So. Yeah, but then people will meet their maker. Oh, that's true. I'm going to have to remember that. So that because moment. Volks is the one person who battles, we have a lot of people who can do healing spells. And I think when we need, you know, that, we should really concentrate on making sure that he's safe. And we didn't know that about mm -hmm. that before the last, before this first battle. So now we will. Um, and we will protect him with a lot of healing spells and other ways that he can defend himself to make sure that he's doing damage and also taking attacks so the rest of us can do our ranged attacks. See, the, I mean, my I, parents I, once I, had this... Well, no, my, I won't tell you a story about my parents. It's boring, but it's basically the same thing as that. Yeah. All right. Anyone else like to go up there and be unnecessarily close up to people that they are trying to hurt us? No? I was fine. I mean, yeah. Just well, been, I mean, I can. I'm, I'm quite. Work. If I if I if I have some cover, I can often be quite quiet and sneak up behind people and maybe just slightly stab them to death. Okay. So I can also do that, but I'm not really an upfront fighter. I'm more like a stabby in the back kind of fighter. I appreciate that. The robot. I appreciate so, you, sis. She's also arms. got a name. Her name is I Wish. Just, I, I have to ask, how long are my arms? Because I seem to have problems here. You what? My arms. How long are they? Go like this. I mean, pretty lanky. Well, I mean, it's not as though they, these, I can stand a hundred yards back and punch at things, so... You know, when you're talking about getting up close. Yeah. You might have we do have someone. another melee fighter. That's what we're asking about. Yeah. Okay. So we got three people who like to be up front and wish. She isn't a person. Um, okay. These are all, all good tactics. I'm not going to get close to anything. That's, that's a no good at that. Um, also, boss, boss man, um, uh, the, what, what's your name, boss? Ringleader, that's your name. Ringleader yes. is at the moment contained entirely within his top hat. It's top hat. I meant just, I meant just who's, it's still who's carrying hat. you. I mean, does anyone want to carry me? I can carry the ringleader. Just... That's oh, fine. Okay, yeah, there you go. Just yeah, soup sure. right in right. there. I it, got it's you. It's starting to seem like that you're the ringleader's right hand man. That's fine. Hey, ringleader. I'm the handler. Yes. There you go. Handler. Uh, hey, um, I had some, uh, um, how would you say it? Less than nice acquaintance stop by and give me a visit. Um, 
just wanted to give you a heads up. His name's Montgomery, bit of an asshole. He's got to stick up his butt. Um, super, super racist, classist, classist. Um, so gave me, got me a rock, wants me to tell, keep an eye on the, on the peeps uh, from where we're going, where we're going, which I know the name of. From the, it's on the screen. I'm, I'm, oh, Lazola. <laughs> It's not on my screen, but yes. Uh, Lazola. You're welcome. And so just want to let you know that he's probably up to no good and shit, and he found me, so he's kind of blackmailing me to do this, because otherwise he's going to tell my rich parents that I'm not actually in college, and that would be bad for me. Ooh, that would be bad. He's just telling that in front of all of us, or just the him? Yeah, yeah, you all know this shit. You all know that I, don't, that I, that I dropped out of school. Why, why the circus. would your friend have a stick up his butt? That I don't know. Maybe we can experiment painful. on it. it. There. We can experiment on it Elton later. Elton put it there. I did. Why? I think a lot a lot of people who are born rich, like me, it's it's just a natural thing. Like it's just we have a whole happens. ceremony that happens when you when you're born and they do that and yeah. Get a stick up your ass. Guess, yeah. Do some you, of us, some of us take it out and then go work with the circus. That's why I don't have one. Do you? Do you take it out when you go to the toilet? No. Yeah, yeah, I know you gotta. There's like a whole thing, and then like when you turn sixteen, you can choose to keep it in or take it out. It's a whole, it's a whole human thing. You, you've you've never seen so like the rich person confused. human thing. Like Walk has never been so confused in his life. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I have explained to you that there's a whole there's a whole thing. I'll um I'll show you the ritual later. I promise. You could I, I'll even you get you your own to. stick if you wanna if you wanna give it a try. See what it feels like. No. It would like we change sizes as we get older. So you know by by his age it's it's pretty big stick. But when you're a baby it's like this big. You got rid of your stick. I did get rid of my stick. Mostly. So, but yes, boss man. That's 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 the deal. So, who wants to explain what a metaphor is? <laughs> I am not explaining what a metaphor is. We, we've tried. We've tried. Yes. It doesn't I think I, I'm sure that within the last couple of months, I have tried several times to explain a metaphor and have given up now. Let's see. Walks. When you're around humans, they don't always mean what they say. I know, they lie. Um, yeah. So, about this blackmail, do you need any help with that? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to, like, it's not like I can stop him or anything. Was I kill him? But that's like mm, that's a big no-no. Um, he's also rich, has a powerful family. Seems like a terrible idea. So for now, I'm just gonna I don't know report him some junk that I see. Fake junk. Probably fake junk. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Probably some fake junk. I don't you know what is he, what he's gonna do with it? Like it's not like he's gonna know that I'm lying to him. He's not coming along. He's staying here. So. Or is he? <sighs> hmm. No, he wouldn't. He's too much of a coward. Was really hoping Bethany would come along with us. She was, she was, she was a nice gal. <laughs> Don't know why he's with him. Like, you know, you, you ever meet those couples who you're like, why are they together? I'm like, this is definitely one of those. Like, she's way nicer than him. Mm -hmm. But I mean, he gets pissed off when people steal his fries. He does get pissed off when people steal his food, and he doesn't know how to cook pasta. It's weird. It's a weird relationship. <laughs> All right. Does anybody else have anything? Um, yes, <clears throat> I I I um, would like to be that once we reach the cirque and everybody has kind of like gone their own ways. Um, the lovely, you know, lovely person. What is uh, carrying me, Viani? Um, will feel um, a bit of a, like a rumbling from the top hat that she's carrying 
reasonably heavy. It's a bit of a dense thing, you know. Big help top hat, but it's like quite whatever. Um, and then, um, then I'll say, I'm awake. Good morning. Should I put you to bed? Here, I've dropped you off by in the front of your caravan. Thank you. Sleep well. Bianne. Mm-hmm. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. I was awake the whole time. Okay, sure you were. Yeah. Night. <laughs> and I go to bed. Does a morphosco lay egg? I'm kind of floored what? by that question, Temerity. Jesus Christ. So presumptuous. All right, yeah. Who has the egg, by the way? Marble. Marble has the egg. Um, I do. What do you yeah. do with the egg? Oh, I just kind of put it in my satchel and just carry okay. it. All right. Um, and then if anybody yeah, wants it, try to keep yeah. it warm or anything. Yeah, you like. I'm sure you can like wrap around it. I well, bet if you put it his mother, it's not me. Well, if you put it in Temerity's cart, there's a lot of ovens going on, right? That's a pretty warm yeah, environment. Yeah, I'll put it in Temerity's cart. I mean, I have my 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 forge going, but that's probably too hot for an egg. Well, maybe if you could left it from a distance from the forge. I'm gonna hand it to the Mary. Mm -hmm. right. Temerity, here you go. You are now its mother, father, parent, guardian thing. We must teach it. Ooh, yeah, you can feed it. Yeah. There you go. We'll have we'll have a one of those creatures. And then Marvel will skip off. You raise it as our own one of those mascot creatures in the circus. All right. Guess we need to find some books on how to raise these things. How many days do we got till we leave? We got like a day left, right? We can go to the library tomorrow. You know, how to how to raise hook horrors one oh one. Yeah, check check okay. uh check Volo's guide to monsters. That's <laughs> a very be, good book. That'd be in the That's library. A very good, uh, I prefer Mordekin's <laughs> stuff, you ever met but him? you know, Volo's pretty good. He's a really nice guy. You should he's, know, he's, hang oh, is he? No, yeah, I never met yeah. him. Everyone talked about him in school. I don't you know. But yeah, my parents. The only thing I was ever good at was like ma magic history. But mm. <laughs> my favorite no, wizard this. is Bigsby. Does anyone like Bigsby? He's he overrated. Has the like so overrated. I don't want to hype him up. Oh, you don't. Of course you would. Do you not like it, Shit, Bigsby? No. I do like Bigsby. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Give him a big hand. What does what does having a big hand mean, Walks? That seems weird. Why would you give him a big hand? Why would you? Yeah. I thought, yeah. Like, this do you chop off your own sense. hand and give it to him? No. He well, can yeah. regrow his limbs. You, oh, you can regrow. That's a, that's why where, that that's you get the regrow. That is another thing I can do. Well, then how'd you give him a big hand? From from a prey item. From a prey. Oh, oh, you give him someone else's big hand. Yes. Is that smart. a lizard-like gift? Like, I really like you. Here's a big hand. Hands make for a convenient snack when you're on the go. Oh. oh I guess you can, like, the, like, like, it's like chicken fingers, but, like, yeah, yeah it's like chicken fingers. It's exactly like, like chicken fingers. fingers. Yeah. yeah, chicken fingers. Chicken nuggies. No fingers, because it's a hand. Shh, nuggies. No, it's a hand, so it's like a human hand, so it's like human fingers. And it makes for a good snack. Nice and traveling. Makes nice. sense. Okay. <laughs> so when you so get so many things we don't know at the temple. <laughs> uh, so does everyone go back to their relative uh, places to go to sleep? Yes. Yep. Heads for the her tent. Yes. Okay. 
All right, so you guys are able to have a long rest and you can wake up a little late in the morning. You know, people are already starting to pack things up. Um, who wakes up earliest? I would definitely wake up early. I would wake up early. Temerity mm-hmm. would have to be up to get those, the dough made. I would wake up relatively early. Mm-hmm. Uh, Viani sleeps in. <laughs> okay. The edge of one breakfast is still served. What about the ringleader? Um... So you said it was basically morning, right? When we got back, I mean. I mean, (laughs) morning in the sense that anything after midnight is morning. You know, it's not like, it wasn't like full morning. Oh, I thought thought it was like, oh, it's the crack of dawn, you know, that kind of thing. No, 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 it's okay. Yeah, it was Um, getting in that area, yeah. But not... I'll be a wee bit sluggish, but I will make an appearance for breakfast. (laughs) You know, maybe a bit to the later end of it kind of thing. All right, well... Uh, Calio comes up to you, says, hey, boss, uh, we've had some people come forward and want to join and sign up, so, uh, how about I bring them by after breakfast? You guys can get together, maybe talk to them, see what, see what you think. Morning. Okay. I'll, yeah, um, morning. I, I, I'm uh, I'm having this conversation while I'm eating, so you know, mm-hmm. just I'm just going to kind of be sitting on sitting on the bowl of food that anyone's left out for me. And uh, yeah, um, so here is going to be a question, right? And I probably need sort of your response, you know, as the de- as the game master. Mm-hmm. Has have people generally had like a negative response to my identity as a slime or is this kind of like the kind of place where yeah it's weird but it's not like that bad all right well there's um a couple things i'd like you to roll one is just a straight charisma Uh check Uh Um, okay this is you know this is with the the Advantage stuff already put in. 21. Mm-hmm. All right, now I need you to roll insight. Okay. Um... All right, so you do pretty well. All right, so um, now you've been at the circus a long time. Mm-hmm. And um, so what you found was when you first came on, uh, some of the people who were uh, leadership in more leadership positions at the time, yeah, as you remember, the founder included a sphinx. Mm-hmm. She seemed to really accept you and mm-hmm. uh, her willingness to just accept you exactly as you were seemed to uh, really grease the wheels. If if you'll pardon the expression, and your own personal charm, as odd and quirky as you are, uh, people find seem to find you charming. They seem mm-hmm. to find that difference. Um, uh, not, I'm not sure the word. The word amusing isn't the right one. It's not so much amusing. Endearing? They kind of just endearing. There's something a little bit endearing about you. And you're aware, not exactly why, but you're aware that whereas before you had trouble fitting in anywhere, um, the circus people, circus folks so seem to really take you in. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's fucking cool. Um, uh, yeah, in that case, I will meet these new pe- these these new people in the form as I am accustomed to, which is in the form of the ringleader. So slime and all, top hat and everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you going to have anybody else come with you? Um, I think I think it would be an immediate thing of they've said this person has said we've got these people to look, uh, you know, these people who want to meet you. And I would just be like, okay, let's go. And I'd just go with them. 
All right. Uh, so he takes you out and he says, uh, first off, there's some bouncers that came by. They're really interested in uh, Elden. They thought that whole thing with the guns that he does, they thought that was just cool. Uh, but then there's some other people and uh, the big fans, you know, they seem real interested. Uh, so we got some people. Oh, and uh, one of them, one of them says uh, Marble's her niece. So. Marble has a niece? No, Marble has an aunt. Oh, aunt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of. So, all right. Okay. So he takes you into an area where a bunch of, you know, there's a cart and then there's just a bunch of people here. Let me pull up the big top. I think that did that work? Yes. Yes. Okay. Like, I don't know why it. There we go. It just took it a second for some reason. So I would say you guys were eating over here. Probably around here is where everybody is. So um, there is, you see. All right. So you see standing in front of a cart, this lady. Mm hmm um this uh fella who is nearby her mm -hmm. uh let's see and then they're uh, standing kind of off to another side is a uh, another group of people including um this rather petite person, mm -hmm. uh, a lizard folk female. Oh shit, that is so cool. A very uh, large minotaur, um, regally dressed. Mm -hmm. A dwarven woman right here. And da -da. yeah, these are all the people that you meet. Okay. There's of... also a bunch of the human bouncers standing to one side. Okay. So these are all uh, different followers and um, do you guys see him go off? Does anybody kind of follow him or show any interest? I'm assuming we see him go off if we're all eating breakfast. Yeah. Mm. So maybe we just be watching him go off because tonight oh. he's got to prepare food for the journey. Within, yeah. in mind, within mind that these are supposed to be like camp followers and stuff like that, that the other mm -hmm. players have rolled. Could I re just redo very quickly um, what, uh, rather than leaving without a word, what mm -hmm. I'll do is I'll stand up and I'll very loudly say, excuse me, I'm going to go meet new hires. Bye. And I just walk out. Marble would follow if he needed help, if they needed help. Uh, if you were close to him, you might have, you very well might have heard Calio say that if one of these people was your aunt. Oh, then she definitely would follow. She'd follow along. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so you and Marble go. Um, all right, and as soon as uh, your aunt, who is this lady right here, sees you she comes up and says oh marble and comes and gives you a big hug she says just look at you hey oh. you <laughs> who's the you told her <laughs> and she purrs and gives you a couple licks and you know she's like oh you look beautiful thank you auntie 
Um, she um, says, so I heard that uh, from the family that you were going on this big, crazy adventure, and I figured, well, you might as well have an alchemist with you. That'd be very useful. Mm -hmm. Uh, she shows you her carts on which is written Mimsy's Whimsies. That's my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's, you know, different prices for different things. Uh, sort of uh, giving a whole rundown of of things and basically what what an alchemist can do an alchemist is not a fighter that's not the kind of follower she is she's a retainer you can get um different potions from her uh that will be uh 10 percent less money and time to make than would ever would usually be the case and that goes you can invest in leveling up her laboratory her shop and the more that you invest you know the more that she's able to give you cheaper potions um better potions faster it, she can also if you get her raw materials um especially parts of monsters then she can incorporate that as well. I'm going so, to, I'm going to um, say, hello, Bubble, this is your aunt. <laughs> yes, oh. this is my aunt. My name is Mimsy. Yes, my auntie Mimsy and Z. Yep. Yes. <laughs> She gives this you kind of a here. look. Oh, well, aren't you goopy? I love goopy things. I'm very clean. Well, of course you are. Yeah. What are you made of? What is up? What is... I can't even imagine... I've never seen quite that color. Marble, your aunt is scaring me. <laughs> She's like looking at some of her potions and saying, you know, can I get a sample sometime? No. <laughs> All right, then. Fair enough, fair enough. Don't worry, auntie. I can get you plenty of samples <laughs> of anything else. Oh, <laughs> She's yeah, lying. I am not. She would lie to her auntie Mimsy. No, I wouldn't. Oh. Of course not, honey. Uh, I, I, I'm going to say um, it is very important that we make as much money as we can so that way everyone can live a happy life free of prejudice and persecution. <laughs> you just a politician i love it what a sweet guy yes. this is i came up with that myself by the way he did not come up with that uh, in the, the ring leader did not come up with that themselves um that was something that the that the previous ringleader said when they were completely fucked off drugs oh. <laughs> Well, I think uh, you know, you should put it on a sign and just and just send that out to the world. I'm all for making money. You know, that's why I have a shop. Shops are I, good. I sell potions and um uh different alchemical preparations. I good. learned from the goblins. They're so good at it. You'd be surprised. A lot That's of other good. people didn't like goblins, but come across them a lot. Mm. But they do have a certain amount of uh, know-how. That's what I say. Okay. Mm. I have to speak to everyone else now. 
Marble, <laughs> can you make sure that she's settled in? Yes, I can. Thank you. And uh, the ring lady just like fucking floats away, like just hovers away. It was lovely meeting you, and I hope that you do well with all your um, money. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the next person. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody is, this fellow here is checking out Temerity's carts. Hmm. And just sort of looking around. Hello. I'm oh. the ringleader. Hello. Uh, hello. Who are sir? you? Oh, um, I am Cedric. Proud home. And I am a... Hello, uh, Cedric. Uh, uh, hello. Um, he's very, like, uh, how do you put it? He's he's kind of proper looking. He's carrying um, some parchment, some quills, and he says, I was thinking that perhaps you might have use of a, of a scribe on your journeys. You know, someone who can do... Uh, lettering and calligraphy, and uh, perhaps make um, magical scrolls and, you know, things of that nature. I like that. Oh, well, good. Then I would like uh, you to, I would like you to show me what you can do. I certainly will, sir. Uh, is there... Uh, and, and he sort of takes out some vellum. He says, I made this and the inks myself, by the way. I That's nice. Very uh, full. I have all the skills. Anyway, um, what would you like me to write? I, I know several different languages. Uh... Um, I'm going to ask. Just give me a second. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to elicit a series of clicks and noises that are of indistinct design, but perfectly understandable to everyone in the surrounding area. I, you, I speak the language celestial and say, I would like you to make me a message to send to myself in the future. Um, I'm sorry, I don't speak celestial. It's it's not one of my languages. I, I speak abyssal, elven, gnomish, dwarvish, and draconic, then. As well uh, as the common tongue. You probably would know that Malk speaks both, uh, speaks draconic. Just putting it out um, there. One second. I kind of go, I, I kind of, um, float away and come back with Walks, and um, then I kind of go, Walks, can you yes. take care of this scrab? Take care scribe. of him in what way? Scribe. Um, well, you know he what says I was... he can speak uh, draconic, and I don't know draconic, though. And he said he can write, but I can't read, though. So you must do all of those things for me. I'll, gre I'll greet him in Draconic. Very, that... very heavily lizard folk accent in Draconic. <laughs> like, this is not the, the kind of Draconic like he would get from, like, a dragonborn. Uh, he's very polite, and he nods, and, and he says, well, uh, certainly, I, I can... Um, uh, and he responds back in Draconic. Um, and says, uh, is there, I was looking over at, um, the menu and I was thinking that perhaps I could do a, a, a fancier font, uh, of the menu over there. And, um, you'll have to speak with Samarity about that again in Draconic. Um, could you introduce me? I can. Please. Okay. I look at the ringleader and go. He speaks Draconic. I do, yes, thank you. Good. Can you take care of him? I will, I'll Is go. this a him? 
I look yes. at I look I look at the I look at the scribe. Uh, yes. Can you take care of him? I'll go get some mercy. Thank you. I must go home and speak to everyone. It is important. Using the na actual names. It is important that we make lots of money so that we can live free of persecution well, is and prejudice. Gone. And I, I walk off. Yeah. <laughs> I go get the um, get the uh, wings, aka temerity. Okay. Bre bread and wings. <laughs> and bring them t to meet the the scribe. Right. Well, the scribe uh, has uh, pulled out his vellum and has written in very beautiful gold letters the menu and your prices. And he says, is, is this acceptable, sir? This is your follower, by the way, Temerity. This is who you oh, rolled. This is pretty. Um... Uh, do you prefer not pretty? Uh, he kind of crosses things out and he um, takes out another vellum and a different color and he this is a little more uh, uh, in a little less fancy. Rustic. He does uh, rustic, yeah. He does a very good job. And you can see he's very quick with his fingers. He just t -t 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 -t. he said, you know, the first one I, I was it wasn't my best work. I was a little nervous, I'll admit. Um, but really, I, I have uh, quite a few skills. I've learned from some of the best. I know multiple languages. Um, I can read and, and write and, and create signs and um, do a great many things if if you'll accept uh, me along, and I can also make uh, I can make magical scrolls at a reduced cost and time, uh, provided someone comes and and sits with me who has the magical ability to to assist with that part. I'm sure we can find people with magical ability who would be quite delighted to. Help make money. Um, hmm. And then Timothy's going to go in halfling. Do you understand this? He looks at you kind of sadly and he says, I speak common, abyssal, elven, gnomish, dwarfish, and draconic. But if there's another language you wish me to learn, sir, I am an, I learn very quickly. I, I, I'm right on it. No, 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 it's good. I like having languages I can curse in without causing a scene. <laughs> Me too. Now, I must say, this is fantastic work. I, I'm sure there'll be officers who will also be delighted with it. Um, oh. So, yes, I think we can arrange something once the Winging Master gets back. All right. Uh, Walks, as you were sitting there or standing there, this lady comes right up to you and goes, ha, da, 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 da. Hello, strong man. I saw your show. I was so... I'm the hugest fan. I am your biggest fan. Hi, I'm Lala Luna. I, I'm a clown. You're, you're quite short. How are you my biggest fan? <laughs> Uh, oh, you are a funny one. Leave the clowning to me, though, all right? You be the strong one, I'll be the funny one. Huh? I wasn't trying to be funny. Oh, it's just natural on you. Yes, well, I'm a little short. I'm a dwarf. That's true. It's true. But, and she starts doing cartwheels, somersaults, and sort of runs around in circles and has like a little horn that she goes beep, beep. Oh, and um, <laughs> I don't think that uh, just because I, I'm a little thing that I can't take care of myself either. I can. I can fight. I can punch and Judy. <laughs> She's, you know, starts shadow boxing about kicking. So am I hired? Uh, hold on. Uh, out of game. You call within 10 minutes. Free group calls have a limit of one hour. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> In ten minutes, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I will deliberate at length, which will just sound like me just going. That was too low for the for the mic to pick up. I think. Yes. Oh, fantastic! All right, so I will. Do I will um, I'll not like not all out for a punch punch at them, but like at the clown. But like, like I want to test. They claim to be able to fight. I want to test their reflexes. All right. I'm not actually trying to hit them. All right. Well, roll an attack. Okay, sixteen uh, will hit. I'm I'm assuming though that I'm not going to. Don't, uh, don't first damage, of all, don't actually damage them. They won't like. actually take any damage. Um, uh, you'll have to look up. She's a little surprised, but she is going to attack you back. So. That hits. Ha 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 ha! Ha! See? I'm tough. Oh, oh, want to see Judy? And then she uh, puts up her left hand. That's Judy. And she attacks again. She, she's she's also not trying. To, she's not trying to hit really hit you so you can ignore the damage she's just showing that you that she can hit and connect good no. <laughs> simply, simply claiming that you can fight is not does not actually show that you can fight so i had to test it and warning <laughs> you would and warning you would wouldn't be a proper test oh, well i'm <laughs> I understand. You remind me of my older brothers. I have eight of them. Is that how you learn to fight? <laughs> you betcha. Hmm. Well, we have that in common. Hmm. You're so cute. You know, has anyone have told you how cute you are? No. Well, I'm excited to join a real circus. I never, ever thought I would be in a real circus as a real clown. I mean, I've been a clown forever, but I mostly uh, do birthday parties and um, uh, visit kids in hospitals who are sick and, you know, things like that. But uh, I've been practicing. I practice every day. Why would you associate with the sick? Well, I'm cheering them up. That exposes yourself to danger. I'm tough and brave. I'm not afraid of a little sick kid. Well, as long as you haven't brought any brought any diseases with you, I'm sure we, we can make we can find use for you. She checks her pockets and says, Nope. <laughs> no diseases here. Walk is very confused, but he's also used to clowns being clowns <laughs> at this point, so he's, he, he's not going to question it. Okay. So who do you want? Do we have to do another? Are we doing like some other kind of uh, switching around meeting? Uh, so, so wanting to kind of be out with it. Like my my main thing it was going to be is that immediately I wanted to just like talk to each one of them, and mm -hmm. I'm not so sorry. It didn't sorry, come can out we in the role play? Can we go oh, into can we go into the break if we're going to go to otherwise? Okay. Gonna Basically, end. I just I just include everybody. I say hey, welcome to the team, fucking whatever. Except I say it in the usual guilt, you know, ringmaster way. Okay. All right. So then we are going to reconnect in a new Google Hangout and be back in, well, let's call it, yeah, 10 minutes? Something like that? That sound all right? 10 minutes. All right. Mm. Thanks, everyone. Hello, everyone, and we are back. Uh, we are back playing D&D. &D.
and we are going to pick up where we left off. We have all have our retainers. Are we back on? We are back on. Hello? Oh, oh, um, am I not? Oh, stupid. Um, I don't want us to talk in case I'm just, you know, <sighs> cutting over Christy saying something. No, it's just that when I clicked off of Zoom, uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't use the temporary space bar anymore because it wasn't activated. So people in the world heard me. I introduced us. We are back. Um, and I am now going to, uh, yeah, we're going to, we basically kind of got our retainers in the break. And I'm going to hand it back over to the dungeon mistress. Yeah, so, um, so ringleader, do you want, who do you want to go up to next? I'm going to go, uh, uh, the, the Minotaur scares me, so I'm going to go up to the knife holding, um, slasher, thriller killer. She looks at you, she's small for a lizard folk. Um, and clearly of a different ancestry than Wolk's. Uh, she looks at you and says, I come to throw knives at your circus for money. Hello, I'm the ringleader. Who are you? Vine. Vine. The Vine. It means Vies. Yes. Z. Did I get it right? Yes. Okay. Thank you for being kind to me. I think Sedviani will be a good match with you. She likes jumping around and you can throw knives at her. I'll um go and get Viani. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then there will be this fire eater lady. Um, tell me of this fire eater. Hello, I am Safira Flame Dance. I eat fire and breathe it out. And you dance with it? I dance always. And she starts dancing. Um, the 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 ringleader will go. Wow, that's so good. I'm so I'm so. This is so magical. It's great. Wow. Um, and then towards the end, will be. I think you will do very well with our. Our friend, Zill, and I'm going to go get Zill. Okay. So, Viani, do you say anything to your... <laughs> when he comes and says, you're going to do well with this lady who throws knives at you? Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, shit. I'll actually go, Viani, i got to ask your permission. For what? There's a lady who wants to throw knives at you. Is that okay? Is she accurate? It's fine. It's fine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's all right. We'll all sort it out. Okay. Thanks, ringmaster or leader. I'm going to uh, yeah connect Zill up with Zill's uh, follower, who is the fire eater. And uh, finally, I'll go to the bouncers and I say, are you here to fight? Uh, yeah. Can we get guns? I don't know how to fight. Why do you want to fight me? You? Oh, we're not going to fight you. We're going to fight people who come in and uh, think that they can, you know, wreck the place or steal stuff. Oh, okay. Can we get guns, though? Um, one minute. I go <laughs> over to Eldon. Eldon, I've got a question for you. What's up, boss? What's a gun? 
I, I, I take Veronica out of the holster and, and do a little little twirly bit. This is a gun. Oh. I thought that was Veronica. Um, that's her name. Her name is Veronica. You know, okay, like, you're, like I don't call Veronica. you Blub. No. What? Come with me. Come oh. see the bouncers. And... Okay. Going to take I take I take Elden over to the bouncers who want a gun and uh I will show them the gun. This yeah, is Veron this is Elden and this is Veronica. Be nice to both of them. Otherwise <laughs> I don't know otherwise. I usually just say that and then everyone understands. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh yeah, you ever you ever even you even know what to do with these? No, but okay. we can learn. Yeah, no, that's gonna take a while. Um okay, <laughs> let's 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 start with something a little easier first, but you know, we'll get there. Um mm -hmm. with the, we'll start with some gunpowder. That's a that's a good always a good good place to start. And get get the smell of it, get in your fingernails and get in your lungs and and then, and then from that we'll we'll move on to shooting things. They're totally into it. Okay, they good. are ready to follow you <laughs> wherever you go. <laughs> Perfect, love them. Um, also, do I know how to make guns? Do you? I don't know. I don't. I don't think I made Veronica. Can I? Is that something like I have a forge and stuff? You have a forge, but uh, I but don't a blacksmith. know if you. I mean, I think um, being an artificer, you could probably learn to make a gun. Okay. Cool beans. I'll, I'll work on that so they can have guns later on. Yeah. So they're like, oh, yeah. They're cool. They just think it's a cool thing. Um, ringleader says the Minotaur. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. I am Ankila. Hello, Ankila. How are you? I am well. I attended your performance last night and thought it was excellent. Thank I think you. your band is um, fine, but could use a little more precision. Well, good. Um, I am, uh, I have many references. Can I see them? As she hands you, pulls out uh, some scrolls and says, of course. I can't read. Can you read them to me? I can. And she I, reads you. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I want a cup of tea. Do you want to come with me? We'll sit down and have a cup of tea. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take her to the mess room. And All uh, right, but I don't like caffeine. Don't worry. We have decaf. Excellent. <laughs> and she follows you. <laughs> Caffeine um, gives one the jitters. It causes one to wiggle, and that is imprecise. Now, isn't it? Yeah. So basically, these are all using. Yes. <laughs> um, I should clarify that we are using a sort of. Um, how does one put this? A variation on Strongholds and Followers, the book uh, written by Matt Colville uh, that people can buy in case anybody is interested. And it, um, the Stronghold is the city, uh, circus. Yeah. The circus and the areas around them are different aspects of Strongholds and uh, Followers depending on what you are uh, talking about, 
there are some followers who can fight for you. Um, and you have four of those you happen to roll four. Uh, there are followers who can create their own shops, their own laboratories, and do skill things for you, which would be Auntie Mimsy and Cedric. And uh, there are followers who uh, can be like an infantry unit or, or a battle unit, and that would be what the seasoned bouncers are. And I don't have a good way of making uh, a, <laughs> like I put seasoned bouncers in there, but like it, it, you can't really make a character sheet. The handout didn't seem to work well. I was getting confused, so I don't have a good way of doing that, but um, I believe everybody here has a copy of Strongholds and Followers that they can look at and uh, read up. And uh, everybody should look at their various follower that they have um, to know what kind of attacks they can do. And um, just to make things easy and simple, if you go out fighting people, then you can take a couple of these followers with you. Depending. Okay. Okay. Uh, Zill, did you want to play oh. out meeting your new best sorry, friend? Sorry, I had a mechanics question on that. Of course. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, are we going to get new empty NPC sheets or sheets to fill this in for our characters, or have you done that already? Oh, I've done it. Oh, um, okay. I You didn't see, but that's awesome. Thank you so much for building those for us. No Thank problem. you. Thank you, Dan. Of course. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, it should be under, you should see Vibe there under the journal entries. If not, maybe I just didn't set her to everybody. Oh, yep. There she is. I didn't set her as being visible to you. That's why you can't see her. Okay, yeah, not a problem. I've also <laughs> had eyes all over the place um, on this show, so I sure. could have easily missed it. Thank you. Oh, she looks awesome. Thank you. All right. So, yes. Um, Zill, did you want to meet Safira? Sure. All right. So a young halfling woman with a um, black mohawk wearing basically like a leather bikini with a little skirt uh, is brought to you with um, by the ringleader. And she says, I'm told I'm to be your uh, general person, I think. Well, she can eat fire. She's cool. Be I am. Nice. So? <laughs> she uh, takes out her uh, flame eater stick, inhales, and blows out a stream of fire but not in anybody's uh, general area, but it's a big stream of fire. Then she does like a bunch of cartwheels and comes back. Go ahead. I'm not totally certain what I'm supposed to do with you. Um, do not set my cart on fire. Where are you from? Oh, well, uh, I'm from here in Toluna. I, I, I'm uh, down south more, though. I'm from down south as well. Hmm. Well, I don't know how you like to handle things, but this is my cot, and um, I sleep during the day, so do not interrupt me. Okay. Uh, sure. Wonderful, wonderful. I'll speak to you tonight. <laughs> Great. Uh, can I go around and meet some of the other people? I don't care what you do. <laughs> Great. 
I don't care what you do either. I think Wonderful. we're going to be great together, Wonderful. boss. Boss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she just leaves. <laughs> All right, so you guys have met all your people. Um, and these people are going to help you on your journey. So now, is there anything else that you would like to do? A bit worried that the clown is, is able to is able to punch harder than me, harder than me. <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> i'll work with my knife thrower about uh doing some sort of act you know some mm. knife throwing act to add to the main stage or the sideshow oh maybe. sure uh she is very precise um so she can set up anything like just you know uh you dodging or um her throwing knives maybe to cut a ribbon and she's also oh, as with wolks she's not exactly uh colorful in her speech she basically just throws knives precisely and says tell me where you want me to throw a knife and i will throw it at it and i will hit it every time all right, so Vianney's going to work with this. She's not going to try to change her. She's going to try to work with this potential. So um, she's going to treat it like a, a sort of like a, a like a, like her, keep her like her like military precision, you know. So mm -hmm. come out on the straight line, turn on your heel, you know, walk so many paces, uh, turn again, and then there's like show the table. You know, so just kind of like working with with what I've got. <laughs> um. Let's see. So, why don't you roll a charisma? Oh, well, this should be interesting. What was that? Oh, okay. Um. All right, charisma coming up. Oh, that was a save. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Oh, God. Try this one instead. Although it's basically the same. Oh, that was. Oh. Okay. Right. All right. So I will have her roll. A dex. Oh. oh yeah, between the two of you, um, between your explanation and showing her, and uh, your ability to just tell her exactly what she needs to do, and her own uh, just ability to go along with that, uh, and and follow directions very that are clear to her very well. Uh, you guys have like a really good little thing going almost right away. Nice. And you know, if, if you keep just explaining exactly what you want her to do, she can do it. She's very nimble. I am happy. <laughs> and that's it for me. All right. Anybody else have anything they want to do? I'm good. I'm gonna set up like a uh, like a little little factory for the my my guys to sit there and and make some uh, gunpowder. Just like we'll, we'll get right into it. Like here are the ingredients. You put you mix this with this, and just don't fuck it up, and you'll be fine. I'll still work outside of the shop, please, because if you do blow it up, you know, like you can regrow your limbs, you'll be fine. But. I don't want my shit hurt. All right. Well, why don't you roll charisma as well? And I don't, they don't really have the same kind of skills. So it's a little confusing to me. But if you roll charisma and roll well, I'm going to say they're able to do it, whatever it is that you're asking them to do for now. He got a 13. All right. Yeah, I mean, they're not the smartest people you've ever met, and you have to kind of watch them a bit. 
um, and to correct some mistakes. But you know, they're they're certainly game to try. Okay, good. Just want a little factory for 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 things. I would like to go help out with some of the doing some of the heavy heavier lifting for packing up the circus to uh, get going. Sure, roll me a strength. Just straight strength. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eighteen. Yep. Um, you are able to lift heavy things. Yay. <laughs> um, and I'll let your. I figure that uh, your friend Lala here is a self-starter, so she's going to go lift some heavy things, too. But she's not good at that, so she's going to stop doing that almost entire right away. Oh, actually, maybe she could do athletics. No, yeah, well, I mean, if she's allowed, allowed to do athletics, she's about as good as me, almost. So let's see. No, still no. Uh, but <laughs> uh, she tries. She's a, she definitely tries. And then after not really getting too far, because she's not the strongest person in the world, she decides to go for her better skill of dexterity and maybe just packing smaller things a little bit. So she's still stood, but now she's tired. She's hmm. done a battle with you, <laughs> tried unsuccessfully to um, load heavy things that are far too big for her, you know, um, just to impress you. And now she's just tired. She needs a nap, quite frankly. <laughs> right but you are able to um, get a lot loaded up. Right. In any case. Anyone else? Temerity shows Cedric around, let him know they're packing up and ask if he's got any skills that might help with that, even if it's just keeping lists. Oh, oh, I'm a, I'm a, very good list, list maker. Let me tell you. And he makes some lists. So ah, that should help us keep everything in order then. Brilliant. Hmm. I'm sure the ringing leader will most appreciate that. Where is he anyway? What? The wing leader, where is he? Oh, I, I don't. I, I didn't. I haven't seen yeah, him. I don't know. You keep on with the lists and I'll go find him. Uh, absolutely, sir. And that moment he lifts off into the air. <laughs> All right. Uh, ringleader, where are you? How easy are you to find? I am... Um, <sighs> I'm contemplating being funny, but also being a dickhead. <laughs> um, I, you, will, you, you will find me working with the marching band and uh being a yes man for the being a yes blob yes blob mm -hmm. a yes blob for uh the uh marching for band leader. yeah and then to Murdy or just right next year and go how's the date oh hello to Merite. How are you? I'm oh, doing good. We have a scribe who seems to be very enthusiastic about fists, getting on with things. Could even start yes, making little scores for nice. us. What? That sounds nice. Oh, it's money. It's potentially if money you is do good. A... Yes. So, who's the uh, big, beautiful minotaur over there? She is the marching band leader. She's very tall, and very big. So be nice to her. <laughs> her uh, name is her name is Enkla. 
Egla. She looks Ankila. over at you guys and says, Ankila. Ankila. Nice. It is. Yes, thank you. And a beautiful woman to bear it as well. Sir, I'll have no sass talk. I'm a professional. My apologies, my lady. Very well. And she's uh, she's clearly um, gotten the rest of the band right into ship shape. Uh, she has them doing drills. Uh, she's uh, telling them about the importance as they will be traveling, of making sure that their instruments are very well cared for, uh, packed up perfectly right. You don't want things getting inside. You don't, if you're going to be crossing a desert, you don't want sand in the gears. It's important. So you have to be very precise. And she's just going off on them. And they are, you know, she's... Um, She's quite the commanding presence, and nobody is arguing with her. And I, I, you get the sense just from watching her. She's kind of used to that. Just nobody ever argues with her. Rarity's so going to lean closer to the room leader and go, she's, she's going to keep you on your toes. No. I don't have toes. Okay, she'll keep the rest of us on our toes, and you... Well, I don't think you're ever going to lose that hat. I like my hat. Are you going to take my hat? No, no, I'm not taking your hat. Ugh. You, Walks. I think I saw another lizard folk around. Has anybody explained yes. metaphors yet? The new, the new, the new lizard folk is called Veth. She mm -hmm. throws daggers. She's going to throw daggers at Viani. It's going to be fun. Oh, make sure I get to see if shot sometime then. I hope so. Yeah, well, talk to you later. Are you okay? Yeah. You sound a bit sad. No, someone seems to have used up all the salt and there's still meat to be salted. Oh. Uh, and there seems to be a strange powder on the air. Really? Yes. Oh. You can't smell it? No. Curious. Um, and is going to um, the the ringleader is going to spontaneously change shape into um, the shape of one of my other uh, personas. Um, sadly, I don't have it written out here, so I'm just going to say Happy Hulk, and is going to breathe in deeply, and then say. <laughs> No. Ah, well, maybe I'm just having one of those days. Do you want to roll a perception? I'm going to roll a perception, yeah. I want to see if this is something. Dude. Yeah, you do smell something, and it smells a little like... Um that stuff that Eldon puts in his guns in Veronica. Oh. There are some bouncers who are going to have guns and Eldon is giving them the guns. And Veronica is, is a gun and they're going to shoot people with them. That sounds exciting and dangerous. Yes. 
Well, I'll leave it to your judgment, you are the ringleader. Why, do you think they should stop? I lack the expertise or knowledge to say. But please tell me what do you think? You have to tell me, please, Temerite. Please tell me, Temerite. Please. Well, if they can't handle the guns, I'm sure we can find use for them in the kitchens. The ringleader is trying to figure out if you've actually answered the question. <laughs> <laughs> um, and 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 okay. kind of goes, and and then, and then eventually decides that you have answered the question, and goes, "Thank you for your honesty, Temerity. I appreciate you in all that your actions, and you are a good, valued part of our circus." Yeah, well, don't worry. Don't, don't, don't worry, Temerity. Ain't no fucking way you get into. You, you're gonna be like caught out by the fucking rig leader. Okay? <laughs> Credulous fool that he is. That they are. <laughs> uh, um. Anyway, yeah, I'll I'll kind of go. Okay, Temerity. I'll see you about. Bye bye. Only see me around dinner time. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye bye, Temerity. Uh, Ankila turns around and says, Goodbye, Temerity. Temerity turns around to Ankila and bows and then turns to leave. If you gave an order, she's going to follow it. And with that, Merity returns to the cooking tents. Okay. Is there anything anybody else wants to do? I should say just, what are you guys going to do? This is kind of a you-centered day. Um, I'm going to be spending the time just getting to know Ankila and just learning, like, what... What she does, she like I don't think the 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 ring leader would particularly know what she does. Um, and seeing it, they're kind of like, ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, um, and also kind of trying to understand their foible, uh, you know, Ankila's foibles, because seems very you know stiff upper lip and all that crap. But you know, the ring leader is like, so. To, to put it into a thing of how Ankila would probably see this, the ringleader is taking her entirely at her word and at her action. It's probably going to be a very weird thing that you've that people usually come across, like um, having stereotypes of what a minotaur is is like, what a person is like, and that, you know what what someone like her would be like, you know. But there's none of that. And probably Ankila is unsure whether or not it is that the ringleader is like doing some kind of long con of, I have to give the image of this, and the ringleader is thus really, really good at it, or the ringleader is just too fucking stupid to think what is a, like, what would a, what, what, what is a, what is a minotaur, you know? Mm. And yeah, um... it'd be like that. Why don't you roll insight if you're trying to figure out her deal? Hmm. Oh, really? Good. I don't like these high rolls. <laughs> well, uh, sometimes the dice like you, and sometimes they don't. Uh, don't, don't yeah. tell the dice that you that you don't like high rolls. <laughs> I, I have nothing but complete disregard and disdain for dying. Oh dear. Yeah. 
What are you well, gonna do? Roll low. You don't <laughs> own me. Don't talk to me, Jesus. Yeah, um, I apologize. Carry on, Dean. What you get from her is um a lot of stuff that's right on the surface. Type A, um kind of personality, very tough, very um controlled. And oddly, as you're kind of, you sort of pick up on something, um, a sense maybe that her extreme propriety is because she doesn't want people, because she's so big and scary looking, she doesn't want people to think that she is a violent, aggressive person she wants people to know that she's very controlled and calm and direct and proper so that's what um yeah okay <laughs> apologies i didn't mean to cut you off nope so that's about that's kind of what you get from her and also uh, just a general sense of a woman with something to prove. You're not sure what and you're not sure to who, but that that's the feeling you get. Hmm. Um, I'll um, yet again, it's kind of like this is the this is the projection that I kind of get that like the ringleader winds up giving kind of half unknowingly is just this idea of taking people completely where they're at like mm -hmm. with no real judgment on hit on their part you know mm -hmm. um and what will happen is once the band has gotten things to get you know they've they've like met their new you know band leader and stuff like that um the ringleader is going to give um Ankle and Keela and any you know any of the newbies anybody who particularly wants to um a tour of the place and introduce them to all the different um people any of the roadies any of the you know other performances anything like that they're all i'm just going to introduce all of them out um so you definitely have la la luna with you uh and mm -hmm. Safira flame dance uh the uh, the two people, Ankila will go with you because if you ask her to go with you, she's going to go somewhere with you. Uh, and Cedric is too busy writing lists um, at this moment to really come. Vive does not care. And Mimsy is spending all of her time with Marble. Thank you. Marble, dear, why don't you show me around? Who are your friends here? And so Marble shows her around and is like, this is my circus family. You know, like my other circus family that's not blood related. Yes, well, I, I know. Yeah, 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 because you're my aunt. <laughs> Do not think she's her fault. <laughs> um, so she skips around and shows her on. All right, who do you introduce her to? Anybody in particular or just all the general people? All the general people. Mm -hmm. Especially Vianney, her BFF. Oh, I've heard of you, Miss Viani. You're very famous, aren't you? Well, you know, my parents are famous. I'm just trying to make my way in the world. But uh, thank you, that's very kind. Hmm. Oh, she, uh, I can see the family resemblance. That uh, high cheekbones. It's so beautiful. High cheekbones. High ears. Yep. <laughs> Long tails. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, our ears are the most distinctive uh, part of our family. I've always felt very regal ears. 
Ah, we have very big ears. So how long is your aunt staying? Oh, forever. Um, and how long? Travel. You know, Marble, you should move your things into my cart. I have plenty of room. <laughs> oh, well, if you're family, then I can yeah, drop the axe. Since, since, yeah, it'll be great. Yes. Slumber party. I only do that for the punters, you know, but uh, between friends, this is how I talk. Oh, so we're friends. That's terrific. Yes, any friend of my little marble. She gives you a little little tickle around your ear. <laughs> friend of mine. Well, She's going to, like, slightly paw at her, like, <laughs> don't do that. Embarrassing moment. Okay. She always was very independent, you know, and very talented. Oh, she's been such an asset to the show and to just life on the road. Mm. Well, I should go get packed so we can leave on time, but I'll be seeing you around for the meals. And I should oh, cool. go get my stuff moved into your cart. Uh, if you have um, any particular interest in in potions, you just let me know. I certainly will. 10% off family discount. Is that circus family? Absolutely. Wonderful. Okay. And then Marvel's going to skip off and grab her stuff. You catch Auntie Mimsy giving you a couple of odd looks. And and you can tell that she thinks she's not sure what to make of some of your of your hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'll probably know eventually. She is uh, an insightful person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marble doesn't have the heart to tell, you, tell her. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my turn. Is it your turn? It is, it is my turn. Um, I'm going to take my bouncers and we're going to go shopping for steel or iron or whatever my gun is made out of. Um, things. Things. And we're going to buy materials to make a cast and we're in multiple casts where I'm going to take, I'm going to take my bouncers. We're just going to go Go shopping, pick up pick up a bunch of stuff for blacksmithing. Okay, let's see. I do have so you go into the city. Mm -hmm. Um anybody else going into the city with you or just I might try to drag walks around to carry shit and wish, obviously. Mm. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't mind coming, um, considering that I know we're going through the desert and I am <laughs> probably the person who knows the, the most about travel of us that tr knows about traveling through the desert so any kind of like things I would know we might need I would, wouldn't mind go looking for okay so you can go in that now hoot alright so I'm not sure if I went over anything about the city of now hoot not really. I'm afraid so. Afraid not. Yeah. Oh, did we lose her? Yep. Oh, that was a great freeze. That's a that's a spot right there. <laughs> cliffhanger. Proper cliffhanger. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Does she she can just be automatically re-entered? Oh, there. Yeah. yeah there hey, you're go. back. You're back. Hey. All right. Sorry. I don't know what happened. No worries. Um, so, Nalhut is a city with a long history. It has some really beautiful and interesting architecture. Um, a lot of houses on, on sort of sticks and poles. So, because it's kind of near the ocean, there's been a history of flooding. There's um, a lot of very old buildings. It has a very interesting um, 
lots of different foods and music that it's known for. It's also known for corruption as well. It has kind of a, a dark side to it. You have to kind of be careful and watch yourself or people will come and try to take stuff out of your pockets, you know. And you guys being very well traveled in this area would know all of this. Um, yeah. And I'm assuming you have gone shopping in these areas before. So you would know to that the best place to go for blacksmith stuff is the Common Flame, which is run by Trim Toscobble, a female dwarf. I'm assuming I've met her before at times. Yeah. Yeah. Blacksmithing equipment. Need it. Good customer. All right. What was it, Trim? Trim. Yes. T R Y M. Trim, trim, trim. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go go on over with my with my posse and Wolks, mm -hmm. uh, and ask. I need some, I need some metal, either ore or bars, whatever you got. I need quite a bit of it. We're gonna get these boys some some new weapons. Uh, uh, do you guys have weapons? And look at the boys. Like it's gonna take me a bit to get the to get like the the guns, but you know we're still gonna you're still gonna need a sword a dagger something yeah we got we got stuff don't worry okay. okay we won't buy you that but yes metal uh stuff to like make cast you know sand and stuff to to cast uh do it cast metal parts checking to see hopefully if they have like a set amount that these of what steel would be usually go for Probably not here. Hmm. All right. So if a silvered weapon, something like a hundred gold pieces, so that gives you a basic idea. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see. All right. So steel, I would say, for what she has, she has some raw materials. Um, she will give you several pounds of it for 50 gold. I will take, if I can, get about 150 gold pieces worth of stuff. All right, roll a... Uh... Roll a D. Actually, roll. Roll three D six. Three D six. Okay. Um, two, three. Dice rolling ASMR. Yeah. Uh, eleven. Eleven. You get eleven pounds of steel, um, plus the sand that you need. You said you needed sand. You can get yeah. whatever sand you need. Yeah. Um, other, like, was there other stuff you needed? Uh, I mean, I, I I think for casting things, you usually need, like, sand to form molds and stuff, but that's, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you need for molding, making molds. I don't, yeah. I'm not actually a blacksmith. I just know. Now, so. Just the stuff. Just the stuff. Just the, the stuff. stuff. I pretend to be one online. Yeah, I'm just mm. pretending to be one. <laughs> Um, yes. So yeah, I'm gonna get that, and then um yeah, and then after that I'm going to yeah get it all to the boys and just like all right boys you know we're gonna we're gonna take this back this is uh this is your your f future uh, future weapons here so take good care of it be nice to the steel you know, cheap, we do have some some pretty high quality steel here uh, and then uh, I'm gonna send them out I'm gonna be like admire some of the some of the wares in the store and just very loudly admire them and then talk about the high quality weapons or whatever she's got selling around um and eventually make my way it's like so uh you doing anything special tonight trim yeah trim she says 
I made dinner for my husband and four children. You think the husband would be into it? <laughs> oh, in, uh, into what, <laughs> sir? You know, it's my, it's my last night here for a while. Ah, well, um, if that's your way of asking for dinner, you can come by at six if you would like. Perfect, I, I will. <laughs> She gives you a look. She says, you should bring <laughs> ale. <laughs> Will do. I'll bring I'll bring some good some good wine or so ale. Yes, no. I I know a very good, you know, a very good chef will, will get me some good stuff to bring along. All right. So you've got a date with Troom Toscovel, her husband, and four children. <laughs> It's always a party. I want to see how this goes. I propose <laughs> that we see that we that we stop the session and the remaining time is spent trying to figure out whether or not you know Eldon manages to get his leg over. It'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, you know. So I am going to find, find Temerity and ask Temerity to get me like a nice dessert or something to bring along. Yeah, so like, hey, hey you know, but like, you know, cake pie, something like that. Something We're kids packing like. Packing up the kitchen. What? We're packing up. We're leaving. Well, you got to. When are we leaving? Tomorrow, right? Like you gotta feed us tonight. Are we leaving tomorrow? I don't even know if I'm there. Why are you asking? <laughs> because you're in the room with me. Um, I don't know the schedule. I should probably write my schedule down uh, somewhere. That'd be very helpful. When do we leave, uh, Temerity? What is this? Girl like you like <laughs> no, I need. I need this cake. Like, you want your help. Cake? Yeah, like it's some like a dessert. I don't know. You, you're good at this shit. Like, give me a good dessert. dessert and some cake. Dessert, you know, something desserty. Fruit salad. I don't know. Something Is this a nice. special occasion? Yeah, I'm gonna go have uh, have family with a dinner. Have dinner with a family. <laughs> family dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but where? Jesus Christ. Wait. You're not joining us tonight. Yes. I think you did those in the wrong order. You're going to have the dinner and then you're going to have the family. <laughs> now you're going to have the family. And then, well, maybe. I mean, who knows? You might roll really high. Are you going to help tuck the kids in? Yeah. Oh, God. All right. Come by in an hour or so. I'll have something worked out. Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. Give him some cake. Oh, so tell your people that each be a bit more careful with their powder. Oh, they're just learning. They'll get there eventually. <laughs> okay. Right. Anybody else has any shopping to do while we're waiting for um, Eldon's date? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There is a place for this, though. What do you want? I want a Warhammer. <laughs> you want a Warhammer? Yes. You're a cook. Yes. So we can tenderize the meat. So you can, like that kind of Warhammer, like a meat tenderizer? <laughs> Just want a really big meat tenderizer. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure, I'll, I'll work on it on our trip. Okay. Good. That'll do. All right. An hour. Sounds I, good. Thank you. I, I love the idea of a Warhammer that's shaped like a meat tenderizer yes that is beautiful that is so <laughs> good it's a sorry That's i had to break it <laughs> i would like as we're uh, shopping i would like to get some uh, some extra barrels to hold water because i know the soft skins dehydrate quite easily okay 
Um, well, how are you going to find a place where you can get these barrels? That is a good question. When might is there a Cooper in town? Is there, type barrels? is there not a Cooper in town? Um, is there? Do you? Would you know? I, I, I mean, it's a fairly basic thing for to have in a town. Like people need, need bells. Yeah, I. Uh, there is a place in town you can go. What I'm wondering is how is Wolks going to figure that? Oh, out where? Um, hmm. I'm just gonna have a look around. All right, roll perception. 17. Um, sure. So you do, because uh, you're kind of in the area, you do see a place called Sweet Ciders and Stills. And you notice that there's a whole lot of just barrels and um, equipment. Like there's a there's a tendency, people around here really like their home brewing. Mm. So there's a lot of stuff right there. Oh, yeah. I'll and we'll walk up to the place and ask about the if I can get a couple of uh, a bar barrels, empty barrels. Uh, it is run by an elf who you can't uh, is basically. G appears to be gender fluid who and because mm. you have known people like that at the circus this is not a surprise to you it's an elven person they um their name is feral but like f-a-r-a-l and they say of course uh what size what size do they come in uh, yes, well, we have um, basically small, medium, and large. Our largest one is uh, your basic wine oak cask. It's uh, got a nice fruity scent and flavor to it, um, whereas our smallest one is good for the uh, beginner home brewer. Just a few pints, really. I'll take a medium. Very well. All right, and I am going to. Sorry, I'm sorry. I totally misspoke. Um, I meant to say that two medium. Sorry. Yeah, that was out of character. That was me fucking out uh, up out of character. Okay. Two medium. Um, looking for. Yeah. Um. She'll sell you that for eight, or they will sell you that for eight gold. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see how much Vox doesn't have, know how money works. Um, so let's see how much money he puts on the table. <laughs> okay. Gonna roll a d. Oh, let's roll a d twelve. He puts. Um, he put six on <laughs> six gold on the table. Uh, they look at you and say, they give you a kind of a quick look. And let me see. Ah, they look at you very suspiciously and are like, <clears throat> That's that's not eight gold. Oh. Uh, I put an additional seven on, on the table. They look at they look at you, they count out eight, hand you your change. They say, Did they not teach you to count in lizard I count. school? I can count. But your your metal just confuses me. I see. Well, 
there you go. You have um, eight gold. Great. Thank you. And they give you two uh, pretty good sized barrels. Cool. I will go find, I'm assuming there's a town well or something, a place to fill them with water. Yeah. Yeah, and that wouldn't be too, too hard to find. That would be a place you would probably have already identified or known of. So, yep, you're able to do that. Yeah, cool. I, I now have two barrels of water to help us get through the desert. All right. Um, so now, Viani. Uh, you see Aunt Mimsy sort of putting everything to rights in her cart for like a minute. And then she seems to get bored. Um, and then she just sort of climbs on top and, and starts sort of playing with some yarn. Okay. She'll just sort of casually saunter over and say, well, I guess you're in the envious position of not having to pack. Mm. Yeah, well, so, uh, I suppose. Did, do you have a lot of things to pack? Oh, no, I travel pretty light. My equipment I pack up every evening, and so for me it's a little more packing, but not more than usual. So where are you coming from? Uh, well, uh... I come from all over, you know, really. I just travel oh. everywhere, you know, with my little cart. I don't like staying in any one place too long. Well, it I can bores that. me. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing not to suffer from homesickness. Your home is uh, wherever you are comfortable that night. Um, yeah, so um, I was wondering, I know you mentioned potions earlier and it's not really related to potions but see when I was a little girl I got as a gift once this luck stone and it got stolen when I was like 10 and I've been on the lookout for sort of a replacement I mean you never replaced the one that I had but I was just thinking that people who know about potions have to be really smart and well if you're smart about potions you're probably smart about a lot of other things and I thought it may be worth asking if you'd like heard of one or might know how to make one uh, well i don't really make uh, the items um but if you're asking about let's see i'm gonna have her roll arcana Ooh. i know some people i do know if you're looking just to buy one I know who you can go to in the in the town. Oh, that would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. But do you know about how much they would run, or you know, if they ever run any sales? I mean, I only have so I've I've tucked away some money. Hmm. You don't say. How? Anyway, um. You should want to go to Portia's place. Portia. Portia Greenleaf. Okay. I know she has them. I don't remember how much she sells them for. But you could tell her I sent you. She likes me. Oh, I well, give her good deals. If you don't mind me using my name or your name, then that would be wonderful. Thank you, Aunt Mimsy. Of course. Um, and then she would very excitedly, like, sort of bounce away, kind of happy, and head over to town to try to track down the name, because I wrote down to, about Mimsy, as <laughs> I'd already forgotten. Green something. Let's see. Let's see. I need to see Luckstone. Uh, Portia Greenleaf. Yes. I just have to do some quick checking into to see. Yeah, sorry to... You asked nope. if we had anything else. And since hey. we had... Yeah. 
it is uncommon. Let's see. What was our starting gold at our level? Um, that was to the party members because you're looking over for something else. For, uh, I believe it was three hundred. As a base, okay. Yeah, because that would that would that would at least that will match what we have gotten so far and what I've used. So you started yeah. with three hundred, then you added your ninety, and then for the show. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. It it's probably in in the in Twitch somewhere. Yeah, I was gonna look, but let's have a look. I trusted your memory. Gold. Don't do that. <laughs> we do every week. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the dead air, everyone. Oh, no. Dead um, air, dead air. Yeah. I will say that it's an uncommon magic item, which is generally worth about 500 gold pieces, but if you wanted to try to talk Portia down. Yes. Definitely name dropping Aunt Mimsy, and um, I'm friends with her niece, mm -hmm. uh, Marble, and here comes a persuasion. She's not brilliant at it, but you can um, you can oh. roll with advantage because of Aunt Mimsy. Excellent. And... Oh boy, did I need that! Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have her roll. Yeah. Um... She says, ah, I can't go below 425. All right. That's entirely fair. I know you have costs too. But I do like Mimsy quite a bit. She's, she's helped me out a few times. Yeah, well, she speaks very highly of you. Mm. Well, thank you for it. It was wonderful doing business with you. I'll tell her All you right. said bye. Of course, please do. And actually, mm -hmm. um, she goes and she brings out some, uh, just like a couple of bottles and stuff. And she says, honestly, these have just been littering around in the shop. They're about to go bad. Why don't you um, give these to her? It's just, it, it's very basic elixirs, but I think she can find a use for them. I know she'll appreciate them. And I'll, I can already anticipate her thanks. And she picks them up and carefully takes them back. But uh, once she's well out of eyesight of the shop, she's going to look at them and see what they are. Um, well, yeah. I mean, you can roll Arcana. Sure. I also, like, uh, I, I remembered on. correctly. It is 300. See, I told you. All right. Arcana check coming up. Yeah, I don't think she knows much. Yeah, I mean, there's a greenish liquid in one. There's something that looks like just like water to you in another. But if you were to take it off, you would kind of sniff it. It doesn't smell like water. Okay. <laughs> um, so you're really not sure what this stuff is. All right, looks harmless. It doesn't look like they're smuggling anything. <laughs> it's what she was wondering <laughs> so uh, she gave it to you very openly yeah yes but you know it wasn't like and there were other people in the shop so there was nothing that gave you a sense that um there was anything underhanded or sneaky going on but that's when they're really good mm -hmm. true enough, <laughs> true anyway, enough. she's yeah she'll pass it along it seems doesn't seem sus uh, yeah, and she'll drop it off and just give the greetings, you know, back and forth and do the courtesies as she returns. 
when she returns. That's it. Okay. Um, this seems like a good place to do a halfway stop. Uh, yeah. You think? Yes, let me just move to studio mode so I can set it up. How long are we going to go for? So I can... Uh, what were we thinking? Like 15 minutes-ish? 15? And, uh, how... Is 15 uh, too long or 20? I think we did well, 20 we was did, too long. I think we did 20 last time, but I... We, that I mean, was because yeah. you, you got to make some... food. Yeah, yeah I know, but I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, DM, I guess. How much time does yeah. everyone need to make food? I, I would say 15 It should be fine. All right. We'll see be everyone. Back at 7.45. Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. see everyone then back in 15 minutes. Hello, everyone, and we are back with our session of D&D. &D. We are playing Cirque du Sang Sauvage. And when we last left off, actually, I think the party had decided that they wanted to do one last midnight job, actually. Uh, that might have happened off air, but uh, I thought... Yeah, I would, that was over, over. Yeah, so I thought I would do a recap of what happened off air. Uh, yeah, basically... Um... Colia comes to comes around and he sees at least one of you, Kalio. Um who does he see? It's been a busy day, so maybe he would have seen Eldon. And he kind of says, Hey, you know that uh job you guys didn't take, right? The one that was gonna be five hundred dollars and somebody some old guy turned to stone. Elden. I'll do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, well, no, I was just going to tell you. They offered a little extra money to sweeten the Ooh, pot, you know. Nice. Yeah, no, I'll um I'll get the gang together. Um I have to, I have to go visit visit someone first, but after that. All right, all right. Cool. I'll uh show you he shows you on a map where the person went missing he says yeah i guess uh the family they put in a little extra money into the pot just to make sure somebody goes and finds out what happened to their uh great great father grandfather whatever oh no they just they just want to know what happens like if he's alive we'll bring him alive but if not just like oh he ain't alive he's okay. he's a rock he's super man. Dead. Yeah. yeah he's stoned okay he's stoned what happens to the best of us? Um, all right, we'll find out. All right. I got, I got a whole whole gang of uh, people who want to come along, so it'll be good. All right. And then I'm going to go find Temerity and ask for my dessert, and then tell them to get everyone together. <laughs> then explain Temerity. things to Temerity. Temerity points at the cake tin. He says, there it is. Now, wait. You want everyone together now? Are we all going to this party of yours? No, I'm going to the party. Um, but I'll be back. But we're gonna go find out what happened to this guy's grandfather. He turned to stone. We gotta find out why. I'm sure nothing too dangerous. Um, so you know, get walks and and Zill and everybody together. Ringmaster, I'm sure he wants to you know he is, he's a worry work. We'll bring him along too. Okay, and off I go to fight everyone. Yeah. I'm gonna go to dinner. All right. I'm not actually gonna go to dinner, but I'm gonna go there. Uh, so what kind of cake did you make for him, Temerity? Uh, this is important information that we need. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll for snacks. <laughs> no, it should be a rich fruit cake. All right. So you lots of dried fruit because using up all the ingredients. Okay. So you take a rich fruit cake to the toss cobbles, um, who invite you in, and it turns out that uh, one of the the reason that she was so willing to invite you is that one of her sons really loves magic and spends his entire time asking you various questions. Uh, about how do you do this trick? How do you do this trick with the cards? How did you do that? How did you do that? How did you do that? He's like eight. So he's like, how did you do heroes. this one? How did you do this one? How did you do that one? 
All right, I'm gonna, teach, I'm gonna teach you one one trick. This is like the best one. And I show him take a deck of cards out. He's got a deck of cards, I hope, probably. Yes. And I'm like, okay, you find the two sixes and the two nines. And uh what you do is you take you take two of the sixes, they got the black ones, the, the black sixes and the black nines. You take a six and a nine and you show it to, to people, you're like, Hey, where's my deck of cards? Give me a second. I'm gonna go get my deck of in my office. Um <laughs> <laughs> I practice this one. Um, and then I'm gonna make sure that I give while well, while my deck of cards is coming, I'm gonna make sure that I give um the cake over to the adults and be like, hey, I gotta go. Sorry, I can't miss dinner, but I wanted to bring you cake. Thanks for all your service. You're a great blacksmith, you know, keep up the good work. We'll we'll stop by the next time we're here. They give you a you know, some food to go. Oh, thanks. I bring I put in my my metal lunchbox that I carry around with me. It's just still laggy. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I should have been better prepared for this magic trick. This is the terrible preparedness by my, my by my standards. Let everyone forever know how much Elden gave up for the party. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> He's gonna have a nice dinner with a family. Mm -hmm. uh, oh wow! You know what ha that happens to the best of us? Gave up the whole family, <laughs> whole family, whole family dinner. All right. So teach the kid. Hey, kid. You know, you take the six. Oh, where's the camera? You got the six and a nine, and you're like, hey, six and nine right there. You take it, you put it in the deck, and you're like, okay. Oof, that, that I have, oh, you're upside down, red card. Um, take it, you put it in the deck like that, mm -hmm. and then, yo, oh, there we go. There's your six Whoa. and nine. How do you do that? How did you do that? I'll show him how I did it. Okay. And like, yeah. yeah. Teach him a thing. All right. So I'll see if he can. Uh, his first go is a little bit shaky, but you think he'll get it in the cup, just a little bit of practice. Good practice. Perfect. Yes. I'm and then I hate to, uh, I hate to run, but you know, got a job to do. This is, this is great. Great meeting all of you all. Yeah. They all wish you well. And, you know, and, uh, the, the new, your new fan wants your autograph. I'll take I'll take a card and autograph it for him. He's like take the oh, seven of hearts. Seven of hearts is going to get autographed, Elden. Oh my god! Thank you. He's very excited. <laughs> All right. So when you go back now, do you want to take any of your new people with you? And if so, who? Should we take my gang of people? Uh, don't take your gang. Okay, that is not too many. Yeah, that's the nice. gang is for uh, they're busy. They're bouncers. Nighttime bounces. security. Yeah, they are the, for the gang is for the security. the gang yeah. is for the for the you know circus. Something. Yeah, they'll 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 be I'll I'll give them a route to, to patrol. Knife throwing um, could come in handy. Uh, I have for frontline and uh, and killer is very very good. Like they, be very, very useful. Fighter? Is she a fighter? She is a fighter. Yes. Okay. She's actually um basically a battle master fighter. So, oh. Yeah. So uh how they do this is they are these are all people who aren't necessarily fighters exactly, but they're like have basic fighting skills. They and they all get depending on their level, and they only go up to level seven is in the book, mm -hmm. um, they yep. get, yeah, a couple of little tricks that they can do. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you'll see when she gets into things. But yeah, I'm going to say that Inkila wants to come with if, you know, she's down for it. Um, Ringleader will be down to bring her with. Yep. Because she's got to see all the different things that we get up to. She uh, nods and says, absolutely. And she brings, of course, her stick, her baton, which she has a big, it's not a little baton that she uses. Um, and then wife, uh, with, I can't say that without, it's sounding like I'm saying wife, I don't know why. It's a vice. Yeah, that, that sound does not want to come out of my mouth. That's all right. Yes, I, I think throwing daggers by th will be yep. very useful. 
Okay. I asked, I haven't actually talked, Volt hasn't actually talked to her. Um, I'll greet her in uh, Draconic. She greets you. <clears throat> Sorry, she greets you back. All right. In cool. Draconic. And, and, you know, very basic greeting. Like, yeah, it's lizard folks. <laughs> lizard folks, just hello. 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 You wish me to do battle? Yes. I shall bring my steel. And she packs up her her knives, her daggers. All right. All right. So I'm going to... I'll, I'll say roll survival with advantage. Somebody roll survival with advantage just to make sure we're able to follow the map and, and get where you're supposed to be going. I think Vox would probably be the best with survival. Yeah. I'll uh, sit down and Vox, whoever's got it, I'm going to sit down and work with them on the map uh, and point out, like, how do you get trajectory and trigonometry shit? Um, Pretty much giving them guidance. Only, you I guidance. only have a plus three in it, actually. That's oh, better I than me. I have a plus four. And you do it. Ooh. Mm. And that gets marbles. Marbles, marbles, marbles. Marble. Wait, marbles is the best at survival? Wow. What's yeah, this the high wisdom. Damn. Um, you, it, it, it's anybody who was going along would have thought that this is like you going to your house or something. You know exactly where to go. And you just, you get them there faster than people even seem to think you could get there. And here's you. Okay. So you find yourself, and, and you should put yourselves down at the bottom of the screen um, in sort of a large clearing with a lot of... Um, trees and rocks and leading toward a cave mm -hmm. mm. still missing here there we go uh, I think you're still missing Ankila. Yeah. There she is. And uh, your followers go on your turn. All right. Basically. Okay. Who's that? Oh, that's oh. blue. My uh, my little homunculus. Ah. Mm. Yeah, I switched up my items, so I don't have goggles of, of night this time. So Good let's. Muscular thighs. Yeah. So don't um, don't go don't go too crazy with that because I can't see. Okay. All right. So you see, like I said, just a nice clearing in the woods. There's a cave ahead of you. What are you gonna do? Now, this time, let's try and actually hunt, probably, and not just barge in, shall we? All right, thick muscular thighs, you go in there first. I think I should go with you, because I can be pretty quiet and sneaky, and if like, maybe I can sneak up on things if we start to hear it to be a little quieter than you, maybe? You will, you're going to also go. see in the dark. No, I'm happy. Just go. I can do it. Oh. If you can see in the dark and be quiet, then it would, Marble would be better. <laughs> Marble. Yeah, I can see in the dark, and I'm pretty stealthy. There you go. Take, take, um, take Blue with you. I'll have Blue follow her along. You're gonna have the cats go. The cats are going first. <laughs> they know how to land on their feet. It'll be fine. All right, so show me where you walk. Just 
I'm just gonna walk straight forward, like straight toward the entrance. Okay. Blue is right behind you. Okay. Are you go going? No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know you're in trouble. No. Are you going stealthily? Yes. Okay. So stealth me. You need one for blue too? Yeah. Don't fuck this for me, blue. I'm not sure how stealthy blue is. Oh, he's pretty stealthy. Okay. 17, yeah. He's yeah. pretty stealthy. Look 22 at you. and a 17. Okay. Uh, you are able to get to the mouth of the cave. Ooh. All the way to the mouth, like right there? Yeah. And um, that's when you hear a Oh. And let's see. Hang on, I need to get to the right place. There you are. Yeah. We're gonna and fly. comes chart this odd. You bird looking thing comes charging out. Let me get to the right layer again. And uh, starts screeching at you. And give me one second here. Sorry, this is. Okay. Okay. So we'll put him right here. And right. so now we are basically in Viani. You see her about to kind of go in, and she looks real sneaky. And then all of a sudden, this bird, huge bird creature, pops out at her. All right. Is the bird creature like looking like it's about to attack, or is it? You know, it, is it calm? Is it agitated? I'm going to say, oh, it looks agitated. Okay. It looks, it looks mad. All right. I need to distract its attention away from her. So Fiani is going to use her short bow and she is, um, my short bow is 60 feet, right? 80. 80. Oh, even better. Okay. Short bow coming at you. 17 hit. That hits. All right. So, um, oh, and then. She's within five feet of my enemy, is um, uh, yes. of an ally. So then, yeah, add the sneak as well. So thirteen. Okay. And then Vith is going to react to my reactions, <laughs> and do her signature attack. Uh, yeah, twenty to sixty. So actually, she should probably have moved up to do that, but she missed anyway. Okay, that makes sense. And what did she roll? Uh, seven. Yeah, that that did hit. Miss. That did miss. Yes. Yep. Yes. <laughs> and um, let's see. Yes, I think well, we're both going to move up. Oh, I have to check. She might be able to move a bit faster than me, but I'll figure that out as someone else. Um, Marble is taking her turn. Okay. Yes, Marble, it is your turn. Okay. And so... also, then uh, Temerity is on deck. Yes. Okay, so I want to get away, away from this creature so we don't have a repeat of last time. <laughs> and I'm going to cast Mirror Image and like three other three other cats pop up. Okay. And they're going to start dancing around and being like, no, am I here? <laughs> or am I here? While I myself Mimic them, but backing away. Okay. And I'm going to back away to here and take Cat with me. Um, I mean, it is turn, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And now. And is that a... Um, the... That's an action. Okay. I don't think you can leave them behind. They go with you. 
Who goes with who? The illusions. You tell your cat. Oh, the illusions. Yeah. All right. The so illusions you... go with you. Actually, oh, that you? gets you a an attack of. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just do that. It bites out at you. Misses. And misses. Each time a creature targets you uh, an attack during a spell's duration, roll a d20 to determine whether or not it's... Oh, so it has to even... Also, it has to, like, basically mm -hmm. <laughs> decide um, of it. Yeah. Good thing I posted right. the thing. Because I've never used this one. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Uh, it misses regardless. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just for future reference. Yeah. And I there's not even concentration. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah. All right. That's me. So that is you leading us to Temerity. Oh dear. Yep. I can close the distance, but I'm not going to use my dash action. So hold and see if it charges me with this when I have my spear ready. Okay. Uh Zill. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to maybe get a little measuring thing here. A moment. This creature is. I'll move here. I'll move here. And then I will uh, conjure forth an image in front of the. Um, creature of a uh let's say let's see a smaller version of itself um calling and angrily squawking at it and pecking at it aggressively uh, casting uh my spell sheet up here casting phantasmal force all right what is, is the they save? It is on their turn, uh, they believe, that, um, that, that, you know, it's the investigate one. So. so it is an intelligence check, I believe, an investigation check against a DC-14 on their turn. Yeah, they are not smart. Yeah. Um, so, so you'll have to remind me when it comes to that their turn okay. exactly what they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> All right. Um, is that everything? I'm making sure uh, each round on your turn, you can deal a D6 psychic damage to the target. So the um, image of the uh, of the smaller creature uh, begins pecking and squawking at it in its own way, and it will take two psychic damage this turn. Okay. Um, and that'll be that. Right. So that leads us to the ringleader. I apologize. Uh, here we go. Uh, ringleader is going to over there. And um, is then going to slightly compress. Right. Hang on one second, because oddly enough, the tree, when you pass by it, goes to hit you. Oh. Oh, dear. And... Does that hit? Oh, yeah. It definitely hits. I would assume so. All right. Uh, that's odd. Why doesn't it give me all right so it's a 3d6 plus four click bleeding. click on attack oh right, okay. so attack oh 14 bludgeoning so yeah all of a sudden you see the tree kind of like uh throw out one of its branches and just kind of clotheslines you as you run by Hmm. How odd. What a strange decision it had to make. <laughs> OK. 
So what I'm going to do is now that I know that that thing is there, I'm going to continue to do exactly what I was going to do anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so there. It's 40. Okay, what uh, year? So I have a thing, it's called growth spike. I pick a point okay. and that from that point for 20 feet in radius, um, it basically makes the area difficult to rain. I'll just click the button um, because I'm still casting it. And it's about placement. It's all about placement for me. Boom. Um, and yeah, I pick a point. And it's just going to be absolutely miserable for most most of these people. I think that is good. Am I within twenty feet? I am. Um, well, it's a hundred and fifty foot range, so you can place it wherever you want. I know. Um, um, it's more to do with it's more to do with I don't want to place it in a way that will hurt people. So, for instance, temerity right there yeah. is in range of it. Is in range of it. However. Um, it's just going to have to be very uh, of vital importance. Marbles as well will marbles will, mm. will also be in range of it. Um, with that in mind, hmm, if I moved it, if I did what I did originally, which is to put it there, um, you should. There we go. That was the place that I was looking for. So right here is where it's at. So this is where it's going to be. And it's going to just take on this thing. And what I would like it to be is um, uh, the ringleader starts to basically um, compress and compress downwards. And then um, almost like unilaterally, the rocks that make up this cavern, uh, cavernish area, um, start to elongate and spike as if they are made into spires. Um, and no. And yeah. Okay. Um, with that in mind. Yeah. So uh, if I could just draw that. Um, this is the spot. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It'll be. Ook. It'll be like that. That's the. That's the. It's a circle. <laughs> Hey, I suppose it is a circle. Yeah, but that's effectively a square. <clears throat> because non Euclidean geometry. Cool. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. So is that everything? That is my turn. Um, I, uh, in fact, will it, my turn will end with um, myself assuming my starry form. I start to glow in the dark. Woo, it's a special form. I also take the um, form of the uh, chalice. So um, the stars and the little flecks of uh, like iron filings or whatever it would be take a bit more of the um take more of the um aspect of there we go much better uh, take the aspect of um you know a, a chalice that is being sucked upon and that is cute um and now it is actually going to be um uh, Enkila's turn, and Enkila is going to walk up to here and smack the shit out of this little bastard. Uh, so it's going to be using specifically the Commander's Strike ability, which should appear. Okay. Yep. And signature attack. Oop. Uh, uh, 13, Twacy. 
actually that that just hits. Oh my god, 14 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um and uh she is going to it has to be within line of sight and everything like that. She is going to look to the incredible, indecipherable um uh I would say the Arnie, because you have a ranged attack, do you not? She does. Sorry. She does? Yeah, I do. I yeah. was one. What? I was chewing, and I have to unmute myself oh. in two places. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. Yes, well, I do. Um, like, does anyone else have one just to make it easier? Have a have a range attack. Elden. I don't think that would be useful. Elden. Elden, have you got a range attack that will affect the awakened tree? Because it has to be on the same creature. Uh, no. Okay, so it's not enough range. Okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, Viani, if you could make an attack on the... Uh... Are you going to yell that as a free action or something? It's part of her ability. It's part of the commanding it's strike ability. ability. Yeah. It's, it's just an action that you get to take. I don't understand. Sorry, what? You, she, <laughs> she, she made made the, the, uh, like attack. the commanding strike. The band leader makes its signature attack and Just... selects an ally within 30 feet who can see and hear the warlord. That ally makes a weapon attack against the target. So you make a ranged what? attack. There. Yeah. Uh, that... Uh, but not the sneak, I don't think. I don't think the sneak, nope. no. no. So, but yes. That's on your turn. Thank you. And the way that it's written, it may not be clear because it says three times a day when you hit it, but if you read through all the things, there's a 10-minute window uh, yeah. between her, between these um, special attacks that they have. Yes. Uh, basically, this is the last time that she can do it, for this fight at least. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend you making a 10-minute fight out of this, but... All right, let's go so now we're on to elden all right i'm gonna tell blue to back up so blue can fly and just boop, 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 behind uh temerity and i'm gonna use my bonus action uh, that was blue is in yeah but they fly the fly blue can fly oh, okay yeah blue doesn't but yeah blue's blue's a flying creature okay um he probably would have taken Moves into. Uh, does anything happen if you start? Mm, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. All right, never mind then. Yes. Yep. No, blue is fine. Uh, and I'm going to use my bonus action to tell blue to help out Temerity. So you get the help action, Temerity, for your next attack. Um, going to tell Wish to go hang out next to, um, next to Marvo. And then I'm going to look at Volks and say, all right, thick muscular thighs, um, you go get him. And I take a syringe out of my pocket and stab him, pumping him full of who knows what. Um, drugs. Drugs, full of all the drugs, um, casting heroism on you. So you have some bonus, H some temporary HP, and you cannot be frightened. How much temporary HP? Five. Um, and I think it's five every turn. Oh, that's cool. It is cool. It's a good one. Uh, until the spend ends, you are immune to being frightened and, gain, and gains temporary hit points equal to your spell casting modifier, or yeah, which is five. At the start of each of its turn, you gain five. So, eat. So, not this turn, your next turn. What? So, okay, so I don't have five yet. <laughs> you don't have five yet. Heroism. <laughs> Artificer, are you? Battlesmith. How do you have two? Uh, once a uh, bat, uh, wish is my steel defender, and blue is my human ghost. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I just took, yeah, I have a lot of things. I just, yeah, I think I have like four magic items, and I can have two at a time. So I have blue and a cape of men mental binding or mental something. Mm. 
yeah, those are the two that I have, which I don't have glasses or goggles or fancy gun this time. All right, cool. All righty. So, mm. is that your? Sorry, one more, and then I'm gonna move over by ringleader. Okay. All right, well, at this point, what happens next is that a bunch of um, the shrubs seem to come to life. And let's uh, find out about that. So, and they are all, they all seem to really want to, to whack you guys. It's, it's really mean. So, first I will sh reveal them. Okay. Boop. Don't think that showed up for us. Oh, yeah, there, there they are. Maybe. Boop. Oh, so, yep, there they are. Yep. That's two of them anyway. All right, and now I will go and see. Uh, we'll start with this guy who uh, does not look happy at being put into um, whatever this circle is. He does not seem to care for it. Um, when you look up, he is going to. So he's going to move. Over here. And then he is going to use his needle attack on you, sir. Does, does he take the damage from moving within it? He just moved out of it. He was just on the line. Okay. It is so. you enter or move within it. Okay. Fair enough. That hits. Okay. Seven piercing damage. All right. Then this guy. Okay, we'll probably come a little bit for out. Yeah, he'll come over here just so that he's in a good range and he will spit his um his little needles at Merity. So just some piney needles coming at you. Okay. Come on, stupid thing. I'm guessing 12 doesn't hit you. No. Okay. And Let's see. This guy is going to come over here and He's going to try to hit um, Bythe. So hang on. OK, so uh, the special creatures, uh, the special people, your mm -hmm. followers, have, they don't have hit points. They have health points. Right. Okay, so her AC uh, is fifteen. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that really is... her, her that seems low. It's natural armor. Mm -hmm. Um. Yep. Okay, so um, she. How do I award damage? Because she has three health. All so right, every so... time she gets hit, she. Makes a constitution saving throw. All right. So that would be two. 
Fail? Yeah, that's a fail. Pass. I assume. What? Why did she go twice? Because she got hit twice. No, just once. Oh, sorry, I misread where the needles attacks were. So just the one. Okay, then the f then she fails. Yep. Um. So she lose uh one health level per die of damage from the attack. Should I just track that in her? There's two. Yeah. She lost two health levels. All right. Two health levels. Yeah. Okay. So she's down to one. Yep. Okay. Well, that's actually different. Okay. Um. Yes. So I've I've done that. Don't okay. know if there's anything else she has to do. Nope. Okay. Um. Then let's see. Yeah. I think. Yep, yeah, it's our cockatrices, um, the big cock's jaw. <laughs> okay. It is his turn. He's gonna, he's got somebody um, he thinks is pecking at him. He is going to move. Yes, there's a smaller cockatrice pecking at him now. Yeah, so he's, and he is not the smartest. So he's just gonna get out from this area and try to peck right back at the cockatrice. So it's an it's investigation it. check for it. Okay, so he does, he's so dumb. Um, considering he's a negative four on intelligence, I, I think this is gonna <laughs> go great. You can make it, come on. Believe in your cockatrice. I do. He failed. Minus two. Yeah. So he still absolutely believes there's a smaller cockatrice attacking him. So he's basically going to. I don't even think that there's much reason to uh, roll anything for him because he thinks that there is a little cockatrice. So that's who he's going to attack. Um, and let's see. And you hear more. <laughs> As another, come on, come here, you. Hang on, another cockatrice comes out, sticks his head out. He's going to enter because he didn't see you, and he's probably going to take some damage as he comes forward. Mm. So, how much damage will he take? 2d4. Um, okay, so the first thing is going to be how many squares does this cockatrice occupy? Do these cockatrices occupy? They um, they are large creatures. Let's see. So, they should be do two by two, not three by yeah. three. Wait a second. Are they large or are they huge? Give me a second. Uh, yeah, so they're a little too big. So. These cocks are just a little too big. I is your cock not large or huge? It's, it's important to know the difference. Okay, <laughs> so I need. Uh, so you're gonna. We're gonna have. You're gonna have to make a judgment on this. Um, because this guy was stationed here and mm -hmm. then left. Yep. Technically speaking, there were two squares of this person like in the in the field and they then move that those squares then went you know one and then left the field right this guy did much the same thing and then traveled through multiple right things and it says it's every five feet it travels through the field so basically this one because it went because it say... came into existence here and then it went like that and that and then out and then like that and then out it yeah. would take one two three and then out again so three sets of 2d4 was also the question if it would stop when it starts to feel that it hurt well it wouldn't um it's dumb sorry but it's just... hmm. 
it has okay. a minus four on intelligence. So it just came there, uh, was hurting, and yeah, I would mm -hmm. say took I'd say it would take two because of its size. It's it's too big really to say that those are three separate squares of movement. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Does it matter? So um, to a certain degree, yeah. It, it matters it, 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 how much damage it takes, yeah. Yeah, it, ma it matters on that level, but it's more to do with like a just a judgment call on your end. Because some people will just some do, some game masters will just turn around and go, yeah, I don't care about those rules or anything like that. You enter the field, you take two d six. You move within the field, you take two d six, and you don't bother with anything else like that. Of like, oh, you have to count every single time it moves through the field, or every single, you know, whatever. Like, um, it's up to you. I think that I. And I should actually have it do a wisdom check, shouldn't I? Because that's what mm -hmm. they're supposed to do. Also. Yeah, but is it raw? It's every five feet, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So what does the wisdom check get it? Spike. Um, um, spell it's, it's, it's spell DC, which is versus 11. And it is to see whether or not it recognizes the ah, terrain as okay. hazardous before entering it. All right. So... He actually then, in that case, would have recognized almost immediately that this was hazardous terrain mm -hmm. and kind of come over and skirted it. Um, so he will take only the, he had to go through some of it mm -hmm. uh, just to get out, mm -hmm. but then would have been able to like jump over to the side or even fly over. So, um, so he's only going to take what the one, two, D, four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you so go. that's six. A six. Uh, we still haven't answered about this, this likely lad, because like I said, he was, I mean, it was like there or so, you know, it, okay. it was positioned here, but it was occupying these three squares. I would say he would take one square's worth of damage as well. There we go. Five. Okay. All right. Well, let's find out what, what they want to do. All right. Um, and he has what was his what's his movement? Let's see what his movement even is to see. Uh he can fly 40 feet. So now that he's flying, he's going to fly over to you, Temerity, and he's going to try to bite you. While his friend is biting nothing, he's biting you. Twelve hit you? Twelve does not hit. Uh, I wouldn't have thought so. But, yep, that's what he tries to do. He tries to bite me. And it's Wolks' turn. Okay. There are trees that try to hit people and bushes that throw needles at people and two weird birds. Great. Uh, I'm gonna... Let's see. Uh, what can we even hit? I'm going to go, okay, the tree, I'm going to go here. The tree, yeah. um, is it? does it look like it's rooted in? Uh, you can make a perception check. Okay. 17. Um, I would say you can tell that if it wanted to, it could move. Okay. Well, let's let's punch it. <laughs> All right, punch the tree. Uh, oh, a, yeah, yeah. That's a crit. Um, 
it takes uh, 12 points of, of bludgeoning damage. Okay. This uh, tree is looking bad. It's, it's a. It's, it's looking sappy. Sappy. It's looking sappy. It's covered in gross sap. It, it's looking all. No. Yeah, there's that's, leaves everywhere. That's my turn. Okay. All right. Yep. Um, and now the tree's gonna hit you back. <laughs> so. All right. Uh, and. Okay. Going to slam you. That does not hit. Okay. Only has one slam hit, so. But this guy, let's see. He can go. He can go up here. Can't go very far. And he's gonna try to hit. Oh, these aren't smart any either. So he'll try to hit the, the cat looking thing. So let's do that. So he reaches out and with his great big branch, it just brings it right down. Pop. And does 18 bludgeoning damage to little blue. Oof. Ow. Just crushes, just pounds down. Yeah, yeah Blue's dead. <laughs> Thanks, Blue. Not have Blue. Good job, Blue. Mm -hmm. Bye, Blue. He falls apart, and there's a little little blue gem in, in a pile of metal. Don't be Blue about Blue. blue. And he shakes his branches. <sighs> All right. So now we are... Yep, and I'm gonna put these guys into the. All right, Vianney, you go. Right, Vianney uh, says um, to Vith, like, fall back um, to get the monster, like, between us and them. Uh, but there's this. Wait, I have a question. Is this thing here in front of me a tree? It's a tree that moves over and hits people. Yeah, it is. Okay, so all right. Um, so Yes, she is going to move back here and hide. I don't know who this is, but she's hiding behind them. Um, <clears throat> and actually, before she does that, she is going to whip out her flask of oil. Um, so before she moves, sorry, my bad. I like retcon that. Um, she's going to put it, or I think she was there, put a flask of oil, uh, chuck it at the tree, and uh, get out her candle and tinder box and like light the candle on fire and try to chuck that too. Can I do all that? Um, Chucking the well, flask of oil shouldn't be that much time. Chuck the flash of oil. Uh -huh. All right. So do like a um, an hand? attack roll. Oh, okay. Uh, an attack roll from just what? Dex? Yeah. Okay. Am I proficient in throwing five feet? <laughs> Don't know. But we're about to find out. Oh no. Not even a luck point which isn't on there would help with that. But yeah. Um so you, oh, you oh, get no, it no, off. No. Never mind. I don't have I don't have luck point yet. Never sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Nope, it's okay. Um you get the, the stopper up and you go to Oh wait, throw I do, it. I do, I have bountiful luck. <laughs> All right. I rolled a one. <laughs> you did. Okay, go okay, for it. Okay, so I get to roll again. All right, let me get to that part of the screen again. Come on, Dex, don't fail me now. It's better, but that's yeah, that's a nine. Yeah, I mean, you get the cork off. You get you go to cluck the the oil, and it's just it's a little bit slippery. All right, and it just doesn't hit but it is i will say right here there is some oil which is pretty <laughs> close to the tree all right it won't necessarily hit the tree but so like right here there's oil on the ground 
There is oil on the ground right there. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I, I meant to do that. Um, all right. She's going to stay there. Then she's going to try to light the oil and the ga thing next time. But this is going to, yeah, uh, do a ranged attack, I guess, at the tree that's not, well, you know, nearest to her and just uh, um, how to do that. That's going to be a miss, I'm sure. Ten? Um, yeah. Yes. That did not hit the tree. But Temerity will... I'm sorry, Temerity. Um, uh, I was... Uh, marble. I'm going to give um, Marble... No, no, no. Bar uh, no, I learned this lesson last time. Wolks. I'm going to give you Bardic Inspiration. Okay. It's a D6, right? Correct. That's buffing up folks. And that's me done, by the way. I'm sorry, I should have said. Okay. So, uh, oh, and your your uh, friend here, what is she going to do? She took a couple yeah, solid um, hits, so. Oh, right, then she's going to run. <laughs> she did her, like, attack, and then she's going to run away, run away. That'll okay. be her turn. Okay. Um, and Marble. Yay. Goodness, there's craziness going on here. Yes. Okay, real quick. Does anybody need any help? Health. health. Healing. Anybody? The ringmaster. I, I, I could do with some healing, but I can sort myself out, so don't be over much worried about it um how okay. does healing work with our followers i don't really know how they gain levels back they huh? do that uh, on rests for they do okay that, yeah okay yeah. also um just to be thing um you can like but you can you can use a signature attack each once each round yeah it's the special super duper event attacks that can only be done done once every ten minutes. Okay. So, you know, yeah, hers so. is like gonna make someone fall prone. It's just not yeah. that big a deal. So. No, no, but no, but it's like it's something to keep in mind because yeah. we're, it is it's a new system and we're mm -hmm. blah blah blah. Okay. Also, that is a big deal. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast guiding bolt at this guy. Okay. It does not hit. And I miss. So I'm going to take my steps back. And that's my turn. <laughs> okay. Um, and Temerity. Is not in the best of places. So let's attack this cockatrice. First with the spear. But does the help action still apply? The hell back no. from blue now that he's dead. Blue is dead? No, blue's no. dead. But yeah, 22 de definitely hits. So that's nine piercing. Okay. Then follow it up with the unarmed. Obviously, that doesn't hit. Nope. And use the key point for the flurry. 11. Nope. Whoa, wait. No, I'm wrong. Wait, I'm wrong. Eleven does hit. Well, the cockatrice. Wow. Yes. All right. That's another six. Okay. And that's my turn. This cockatrice is looking pretty bad. Sadly. <laughs> Poor little cockatrice. All right. Zill. Okay. Well, I'm going to deal another D6 just freely. So that critter, three damage, psychic. Okay. Um, and then, uh, well, I guess I will cast Toll of the Dead on the one that's closer. So it needs to make a DC 14. Um, is it wisdom save? Wisdom Thanks. save. All right, so the cockatrice. Mm -hmm, the closest one to me. Okay. Makes it, so nothing happens. Okay. And that was my turn. 
All right. Ring leader. All right, then I am going to cast. Uh, where the fuck is it? Here it is. Boop. May you be cast as a bonus action. Uh, so, in order to cast this, you're already okay. No, just in so, order just to cast so sh- it, I will drop this one. Okay, then yeah, that was what I was going to yeah. say. Yeah, I know, I know, is what you're going to say. Just like yeah, because it's a valid concern to be, and so that is no longer like difficult terrain. It's not dealing any damage. Don't worry about it. Um, it is ended. Mm. Um, and the healing spirit is going to be spawned directly behind uh, Elden. So I'm just going to put a little little sign here. All right. Okay. And then I'm going to travel like that, and like that, like that, and then there. And going underneath, I will gain uh, D6 hit points back. Three. Okay. So what does this thing look like? Is it a... Oh, um, just give me a moment. I'm just uh, thinking it. Okay, there we go. Uh, so uh, what I actually uh, was going to think of it in terms of was... Um, the ringmaster, the, ring, the ringleader will pretty much just inhale internally and balloon themselves bigger. And then um, it's very difficult to say that it spits, but it spits a globule onto the floor that then spreads out as if it was some kind of weird, like, window frame of some description. And then it walks directly through the window frame. And that's kind of like what it looks like. Nice. Yeah. You walk through the window frame. Other people have actually come across this before. Vox has actually had this, has had it occur. It um, is very similar to, um, it's very similar to having your hair combed, you know, just like by someone else. It's just like that thing of someone's got a comb and they're grooming you, you know, that kind of thing. It feels a bit like that. It feels a bit like someone's taking care of you, but in a very, very quick way, professional way. But anyway... Um, so that's what I've done, and uh, now it will be band leader. Yep. And Keela. And Keela is going to smack the shit out of uh, the thing for 14 and 13 bludgeoning. Yep. I, I, with all due respect, Vox, I didn't mean in terms of... I don't literally mean that it is somebody. somebody's yep. literally yep. doing your It head. was a joke. I know. But now I'm killing the joke. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's why I'm doing 13 d- bludgeoning to that. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. This this tree has taken a beating. Really beating up the tree. That's what I say. All right. And Elden. I'm going to move. Well, no, I don't have to move. I'm just going to shoot at this guy. Ooh, this guy at the top here with a, a nine. I'm sure does not hit at all. Um, and I'm going to have Wish come on over next to Wilkes and punch the tree with a one. No. No. So nothing hits. And uh, with that, I think I'm going to move back a little bit. Uh, over here. That's it. That's my turn. Okay. And oh, where were you? You were here, right? Is that 10 feet away? That is correct. Yeah. From the creature? Yeah, I yeah. think I would say so. It can hit you. Okay. So it is about to hit you. So okay. attack of opportunity from the tree just shoots out. You but think no. you're far enough away, but you've got like he hasn't actually moved out of its range if its range is 10 feet. Oh, 
He's not 10 feet. Oh, you're right. Never mind. Okay. Good. You see it like wiggling at you, like it's going to hit you, but you just kind of stop short before you leave. Not today, Satan. No, that's not going to happen. All right. So this leads us to the needle blights. Who? Uh, this one is going to attack Viani. Hang on. Sorry. Does a five does not hit? Okay. Um, let's see. This one. This one wants to get a little closer into the action, I think. Because we'll move up. And we'll also attack Biani. And that one's at 18. I'm assuming All right. that hits. That will hit, yes. Sorry, I didn't realize yeah. I was muted, everyone. That's okay. Eight okay. piercing. Owie, owie. And... Let's see, this one's going to have to get closer to somebody. All right. Get up here. And attack Wish. And not get anywhere. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, next is the cockatrice. This guy will try to make another um, intelligence spell. Intelligence spell. Intelligence check. Yeah, do it. It's, hey, it's in positive numbers. <laughs> I'm really impressed with you, Cockatrice. Good job. Okay. Um, let's see. But no, not quite enough, and continues to snap at nothing. Uh, this Cockatrice is going to um go after Temerity. Be nice if one of them could hit. Someday, maybe. I was hitting. All right. So that five is piercing. five piercing, and you've got to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. Oh, well. And you make it. You feel for a second, like, almost like a feeling of, like, you're being restrained, that, that feeling of, like, stony but you just shake it off so oh well uh which brings us to walks okay oh there's still a tree in front of me and i'm so i'm gonna punch it that no. doesn't hit <laughs> Oh wait, no. Hold on. Uh, I have. You have uh, your inspiration. Body. Yes. Thirteen. Does thirteen hit it? Thirteen hits. It takes seven bludgeoning damage. Oh, it's so close. Okay. Uh, and then you know what? Why not? I'm gonna use my bonus action to uh, do a bite attack on it with my hungry okay. jaws. 17? Yeah. Yeah. You can describe it's it's terrible death. So I punch into into it leaving like breaking the back. And then I somehow just like get my mouth around it and you hear you you hear the back crack. And then because it's been animated, it's awakened, the um the poison actually works on it and You've never seen a tree be in pain before, but it somehow is. And then it suddenly just goes limp and like 
fall, like almost like falls over. Um, okay, and then I would like to use my action search because why not? And I'm gonna use my movement. Huh? How does it? I don't know. I'm gonna use my movement to get up to this this dude. I'm gonna punch him. Okay. That does not hit. That does not hit, no. Okay. That's my turn. Okay. Um, and so that oh, well, tree is dead. So, and this tree is gonna come over here so it can flank Temerity and have some. Have a little extra love for that. So, Oof. 22. 18 bludgeoning damage. Just just comes around, just sort of dances around you. This shaking, shambling tree. And then it just comes right out at your midsection with one of its branches and just pounds you. Oh, yeah. Tomatoes not looking good now. Mm -hmm. um, that's its old turn. Mm -hmm. And we are going back up to the beginning. Vianney. Yep. So if Yanni has her tinder box out, would like setting off a couple sparks to get the oil going be a free action or an action? I would say I would let you do that as a free action. Okay. Is there anything you want me to roll to see if I can get the oil to go alight? It's right in front of you, so okay. if you want to light that square on fire, yep. you can do that. Okay, so the one next to the tree is on fire. Um, she's going to use the opportunity of the smoke um, to move. Though the tree did move. Oh. I don't know if you... No, I missed that. Sorry, I have a lot yeah. going on. Alright, I, I don't care. It gives obscures these guys. She's still yeah. doing it. So, one, two, three, four. Um... Yeah, she'll head over by the ring uh, leader, and uh, yeah, she'll use her short bow then to go at the uh, things that keep shooting out pointy. She's going to go at the one that's closest to her right there. Sure. So, nothing. Ah, she can't see through the smoke. Damn it. It's the smoke. She should have aimed somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. Well, and what are you going to do? My intern is run away, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's... She doesn't have the range a uh, long enough range. I guess she could make it. It's with disadvantaged. Why the heck not? What's the worst that could happen? She could miss. All right. So she. This is with disadvantage. Um. Mm -hmm. Also at the needle uh, throwing things. Twelve. That hits. <laughs> Go girl. <laughs> All right. So is it the nearest one, the one that you were hitting? Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. This. She really just oh. knocks it to bits. She does as well. Um, she's gonna do this just to see what happens. Yeah. Okay. A con save, huh? Let's see. Do needle blights have con saves? Oh, it has a part two. That's way cooler. All right. Oh, made it. Okay. But it does fall prone. Mhm. Mm and that is my turn. Okay. Which one is prone? The uh, one, this guy. Yeah. Okay. And it looks bad. Like with just one good solid hit, she really knocked it to bits. So, so that's all. Our bright marble. Okay, marble's gonna cast sacred flame on this guy. And then after that, I'm going to cast Healing Word on Temerity. Okay. So there's that. Okay, deck save for this. Yep. Deck save for the cockatrice. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Fail. So we'll get that one damage. Yeah. Hell yeah. Then I'm going to cast Healing word level two, and you get eight healing. Oh, you get ten. Ten, yeah. Math. 
There you go, Temerity. Thank I'm you. I'm not going to abandon you. Okay. And that will lead to Temerity. Right. Then starting with the cockatrice again. Okay. Kids. Wow, he's doing well with the spear tonight. You can describe its horrible death. Suddenly feeling somewhat reinvigorated, Temerity thrusts the spear straight down the cockatrice's throat until it pokes out the other side. It says, <laughs> and then just sort of collapses to the ground in a heap. And then for the moment, abandoning his spear, he turns around to attack the tree that attacked him. Uh, that is a no. Hmm. And then key point. We're going to do the flurry. Might as well do it. <laughs> oh, for... No. No. Wow. It Apparently keeps the like trees are his nemesis. He's like, you're trying to hit it, but, like, it's so weird because you just... It's just hard to get this thing this thing's form in your head it keeps moving and it's like trees aren't supposed to move so it's just like it's a little in your head this thing so wow how's that all right uh zil okay well um he's still alive right back here yeah looking bad but well, still he takes alive. Two more psychic damage. And then I will cast uh, Toll of the Dead on it. So a DC 14 wisdom check. Okay. Let's see. No. Nope. takes. Yes. Two damage. <laughs> Not yes. I mean, it is looking very bad. Hanging on by a thread, but it's hanging on. Just... And I will move here. Love you, my turn. Okay. Ringleader. Hey, is a me. Yep. Ringleader is going to go over to here and be like, oh, I want to numb on this, and he's going to basically, like, claim it and move over to here, getting another d6. Three. So now that that's happened, this dissipates, because it can only be used twice. Uh, It is, it is twice, isn't it? Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, and it, it levels up as I le as I raise its number. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so with that in mind, time to have a look at uh, my life choices. <laughs> okay. Uh, such as Guiding Bolt, and it's going to be shot directly at uh, this cockatrice over here. Uh, that one is dead. Oh. oh. And still okay. has a spear sticking through it. Uh, I, I apologize. I, I didn't know. Um, in that case, it shall be this thing that gets my ire. Okay. Uh, boop. I don't like this. <laughs> um, but well, you case. said you wanted the low, <laughs> low numbers. I didn't, I didn't I didn't say I wanted low numbers. I said come at me fucking dice. Well, and they are in Jesus and kicked they my ass. <laughs> no, they didn't. No, they didn't. What are, what are, what have they actually done? What are, all this done is managed to make my numbers go a bit low. Ooh, oh my God. Yeah, have you seen what it did to <laughs> I just don't like it. This mildly inconveniences me. This doesn't particularly do anything. Okay, and a linker is going to and Keeler is going to beat the shit out of these guys. We have a 25. That hits. Eight. Eight. All right. Nice. Um, meanwhile, um, 
the uh, meanwhile i have done a stupid i've done a stupid stupid thing um i had chalice as by yeah. constellation that i had set chalice whenever you cast a spell using a spell slot that restores hit points to a creature you or another creature within 30 feet of you gain uh, uh can regain hit points equal to 1d8 plus uh wisdom modifier so that happened twice so i could have easily gained that much hit but the you know, like 2d8 plus two hit points. but you only cast it once using it twice is not the same as casting it mm, it's um, uh, yeah. it's what, about what, is that, what does the rule say it's that you cast a spell you are correct yes so well, you can give yourself a d8 mm. Mm. does anyone else want it that's the thing because i would have been i would have been as, is... a, as a river giving to my people temerity well, would have loved it but, but i don't you know were if out you of were rage. yeah yeah so there I, we go I... one hit point <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. grand grand <laughs> well it's, it's plus your wisdom modifier isn't it uh no we were just told uh, no i was just told that it's like just the d8 oh. because obviously it's out of range it's out of turn and everything like that oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. so in all cases that is me because i have done a good thing there you go <laughs> all righty uh where are Um, 10 does not hit, I assume. Nope. One is going to come a little bit over here behind his friend and shoot at Wish. <gasps> and do worse than do, do just nothing. And then one will try to claw walks. They're all just like they're. It's, that it was the fire. They're scared of the fire. So, six piercing damage to you, sir. Terrifying okay. stuff. All right. Uh, this cockatrice is going to take some more damage, probably. Let's see if it gets uh, in. If it starts to get smart. I believe in this cockatrice. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, it's you know, it's bleeding, it's a mess, it's tired. Why is this little teeny weeny cockatrice just trying to kill it? So yeah, it does nothing of any use this turn. It's pecking and pecking as hard as it can. Um just nothing happens. <laughs> All right, Viani's turn. No. No? Where did, what did uh, I do? My, my, my oh, turn? Wolks turn and the tree. I skipped Wolks and the tree. That, time. Yeah. that was good. That's Wolks good. Wolks and the tree. A new children's book. Um, <laughs> I, okay. Hear me out here. Okay. I would like to take this guy, see if I can like pick this guy up and smash him into the tree, kind of <laughs> using one of them to attack the other with. All That's right. Improvised. Uh, yeah, I, I'll say, um, we'll do the, uh, a, uh, roll to, like, get a good hold and grip on him. Okay. So a you grapple. can roll with your, your grapple. Okay. Okay. And 17. Mm. So he has, I'm assuming his dex is better uh let's see probably 
Yeah. Well, actually, the six of one half dozen the other, really. But mm. 12 does not do it. It wiggles and jiggles and does not get away from you. All right, roll your attack. I assume it's, I'm just going to do, there we go. Does not That's hit. It. It's it's fighting ah, against. Ah, but I'm hold on. I'm technically flanking the tree. Twenty's <laughs> on the other side. Oh my god! Mm. No, that's that's more than fair. I'm doing a weird thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if okay. it wasn't that, yeah, I like I. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, but well. you can still keep it grappled for now. Great. So he's grappled. Cool. He that's, is grappled. That is, uh, that's my turn. All right. All right. And this uh, awakened tree, not knowing what's going on with that. Uh, whoo, geez. Whoever, whoever it attacks, Wish is going to do uh, how block it. So give disadvantage on it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to roll a deep four to figure that out. Two. Uh, it's going to attack Wish. Okay, it doesn't get disadvantage because it's Wish, but... <laughs> okay. It doesn't know that, but that's who two was, so... Go, tree! Slam Wish! That... That's a good one. Fifteen. Oof. Oof. Duh. She's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Takes solid bash shifts to her metallic head. All right. Now I did it. So now it's Viani's turn. Okay. Yes. So um, Viani will just step from behind Zill and fire off her short bow at this creature here. Okay. And also while she's doing that, oh, I have to check my range on Bardic Inspiration. You might be too far away. 14. 14 hits and right. you can describe its death. All right. Um, yes. Um, Viani steps out from behind Zill, fires off her arrow and goes over and just sort of uh, shatters it. Sort of coll- you know, just crumbles. Um, or... Mm. What would be the right verb? Explodes in like yeah. dry twigs. There we go. <laughs> and You've weed whacked your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, she just sort of like smiles to herself and then she steps back behind Zill. Uh, she's also, um, oh yes, I needed to check the uh, range on Bardic Inspiration. Let me just get that up really quick. Oh, of course. I did the thing I, there we go. Is it 60 feet? Oh, if it's 60 feet, yes. then I think you're okay. So, yep, i uh, give you my last bardic inspiration. And Ooh. to um, you, uh, Wilkes. Okay. Cool. And, hey, it worked out last time, so, yeah. yeah, let's just go ahead and see if her signature attack works on the one next to his buddy. Nope, not this time. Nope. But it was worth a shot. And that worth is the shot. my turn. Okay. Uh, Marble. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do what I did last time and cast Sacred Flame on this guy and then Cure Wounds on Temerity. Okay. Healing words, you mean? Yes. Yes. Healing, Healing word. Yeah. All right. So this cockatrice has to make a deck save. Yep. Uh, aren't those both cantrips? Mm. No, sorry, no, not cantrips. One of them's one of them is an action. Oh. And yeah, a sorry, word I, is a bonus yeah, action. Yeah, you're right. You, yeah, mm-hmm. no, you're right. I, Damn straight, I'm right. I confused mm-hmm. a little. <laughs> uh, he's he just he passes. Away. He's okay, fine. so so then just healing word. Do it at second level. Boop. There you go. There you go, Temerity. I hope it helps. Almost back and full. Yeah. Hell yeah. 
Okay. Temerity, it's your turn. Well, this tree's been giving us a buffer, so... Nope. And, ah. That one hits. You're finally starting to get the... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it still up? Oh, yeah, it's still up. It's yep. a tree. It's tough. It's not fast. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go for nimble, it. Let's try it's... and finish it off. Mm. Uh, yeah, that hits. There's another six. Okay. I mean, it, it's looking sappy. <laughs> <laughs> and a total whiff. Yeah. Wait, no, you have advantage. Flanking. Oh, that's true. That is true. Actually, Wait, that what about the first one? Yeah. Okay, the yeah. First one you as well. Actually can uh they both hit, so yeah, go for it. Four, so four and oh well. Wow. Twenty damage. Not bad. Yeah. So all of a sudden it's boom 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 boom. Just shaking that tree. All right. And that's the turn. Yeah. Zill. All right. Um, the bird's alive still, right? No one's really fucking with it because it's just kind of screeching and flopping around back there. You're fucking with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're just killing it by little bits. So okay, you can see. it takes three more damage. All right, you can describe its death. <laughs> it 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 literally has a brain aneurysm and just collapses over after having been pecked so much all right no one really it's, knows why it does blood just comes out of its ears it just goes down oh so sad. Yeah. anyway my action i'm going to cast uh toll of the dead on that tree okay He's make a wisdom of save a 14 our trees wise <laughs> Good to, i don't know <laughs> what a question <laughs> It makes I mean, it. We've read Lord of the Rings, haven't we? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, ringleader. Uh, ringleader. Let's go. Mm. Ringleader is gonna. Uh, do one quick thing as a thing. Uh, who needs help? Who needs healing? Um, people have been taking hits and stuff like that. Um, I've got one more use of my, you know, uh, healing spirit. So it's like I can put it on somebody. Uh, I'm fine. Okay, you're fine. Temerity, you good? Temerity's good. Okay, in that case, it's only me who's fucked. In that case, I'm not going to bother with it. Um, I'm going to um, smack somebody with a guiding bolt, and let's see how this goes. Uh, and by, by smack somebody, I mean the tree that is directly in front of us. Boop. 17. Yeah. Uh, is this uh, those levels one? Right? Oof. 14 damage, 14 radiant damage. Okay. Looking real bad. And the tree now... is looking really bad. Oh, <laughs> now we have a vent on it, right? Isn't it glowing? Uh, and the next attack roll made against it before the yeah. end of the turn. Is uh, has advantage thanks to the mystical dim glow light glittering on the target next to them. Uh, until then, um, That's gonna be and I'm going to immediately problem. take advantage of this by having N Keela twenty twelve bludgeoning damage. Yeah, she kills it. You can describe its death. Um. Uh, 
I mean, I'm not really sure what she would do. She's a minotaur. She would just like twat it and it would just fall the fuck over. I don't really it's know what basically what happens. Do. Yeah. Um <laughs> he pulls up her head. I could add and goes, a, I, yeah, I could I could also add in that she's got something of the like the British Raj about her, so she is very, very racist with it. <laughs> she's racist with the tree? <laughs> no, the way she's doing it, she's like um she she's kind of like uh, got that she's got that like glazed over look of you know having completely disregarded this person this thing's like autonomy ah, and yes. capacity to think so it's like just <laughs> so 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 for all that the other enkila is doing right now she could just be like stepping on a crinkly leaf or something like that but <laughs> what she's actually doing is killing a fully sentient creature yeah but you know to her it's just a tree it's yeah. a tree that got up and decided to start moving around which is Terrible behavior for a tree. I'm. Yeah. Sh I think you can assume. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, just a quick thing. This thing is dead, correct? Yes. Yes. Let me okay. make sure to put X on it. That's what I didn't do. Okay. Uh, so she's gonna then move up to her next victim, and uh, that's my turn. Okay. And Elden. So not much left, just That's a couple okay. of needle bites. I was, yeah, I was getting getting distracted by the racist minotaur. Uh, we're gonna shoot at this guy over here with a. Can't read that. Twelve. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, I got distracted. I don't want to read that. Uh, take six points of damage. Okay. Um, and then I'll have Wish, uh, since all these maple trees are coming and replacing all the evergreen trees, she's going to crawl over it and attack the, the blight up here with a natural 20. Good stuff. All right. Woot. So 2d8s plus I... two. Ah, a six and a seven, 13, 15 points of damage. You can describe how she kills it. Okay, after after dragging her feet through the maple tree, um, and she, <laughs> she takes both of her, her arms now that they're fixed and no longer rusty, and just like Hulk slams this thing right into the ground, just leaving a as, little crater. As, I'm, as Volks is hold, holding on, he has grappled yeah. on. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. You you just, you're, all you're holding on to is like its leg at this point. Like the rest of it is down. It. Yeah. Oh, also, Alden. Alden remarks like because he. Yeah. Alden remarks to 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 Walks because I forgot to say this before that I didn't realize you were a vegetarian, Walks. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I've been seeing you, you know, eating all these trees. <laughs> and that's it. That's all I got. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, well, one thing left. <laughs> there's one little thing left. It's what's it gonna do? It it doesn't have much going on. It's just gotta do as best it can, I guess. Because it's not long for the world. Okay, so she it's gonna claw what? out sixteen. Does that hit our um poor new friend? Whose name I ought to know because I made it up on Kila. Mm. Uh, I'll check. No, on Kila does not get hit. Um, oh. I think it's going to run away. Fuck it. It'll try to run away, even though uh, she gets an attack of opportunity on it. So if you want to roll an attack of opportunity. I, I apologize. I apologize. I kind of like just blanked out for a second. That's okay. So 16. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. Seven damage. Okay. So it takes the damage and runs away and tries to hide. 
as best as it can. <laughs> we, we, we all saw where it went. Look, they're not smart creatures. <laughs> all right. But that brings us... Who does that bring us to? That brings us to... Where did Me. the... Okay, he walks. Uh, I'm gonna follow up, let go of the, <laughs> the, the arm I still have and be in pursuit of this. The question is, can I actually see him? A uh, roll of perception, I'd say 12. Yeah. Yeah, you can see him. I'm gonna twat a dagger at him with disadvantage because it's outside the range. Okay. Nope. Yeah. That's my turn. All right. Yeah, the turn order disappeared. Yeah, it yeah. did disappear. Can you just click on it again? Yes. Yeah. There, there we go. Uh, Vianney, it's your turn. Cool. All right. Um, Vianney, could she, from where she's standing, like, see that that one fleeing away? Uh, I would roll perception. Okay, she's not terrible. Actually, I honestly think you would have a lot of trouble seeing it from where you are. It's it's gotten kind of dark. I think so too. Yeah, and there's just there and, there are people in the way. Yeah, there's just a lot going on there. So All right. then she would look around to assess who in the party might look damaged, or if they're looking okay. Is everyone pretty much okay now? I've got to cure wounds, so. I can come visit you if you need me. Mm. Nope. Everyone seems to be all right. Okay. Then she'll uh, watch. Your, your friend is, um, your new friend is a little. Yeah, I'm going to. a healing. Oh, can I heal her? I mean, again, I wasn't sure how this worked with healing points. Uh, their, like, their I levels. believe you can. And I think that you can probably heal her up a level. Okay. With a cure uh, light wounds. Yeah. Okay. Then I will do that. So that'll be her action and her movement. And yeah, everyone else is cool. So, oh, uh, you know what? Um, Didn't she give Walks Bardic and Sprite? Oh, okay. Anyway. It, that probably wouldn't matter. Okay. okay. <laughs> but yeah, you did. I could actually, I should have used that. But yeah, just to maybe put your dot on your character or something to remind yourself because it's yeah, a long yeah. time between you and me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That was my turn. And my metagaming. <laughs> well, okay. Table talk, really. Mm. Let's see. Marble. All right. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at this guy. Okay. I'm going to. Oh. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay. There we go. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, Temerity. You would have probably seen. You have dark vision. Yeah. In that case, it's just moving up. Yep. You can describe its step. Extending his wings to fly over, Tumerty prepares one final punch and just flies up, flies over it, flies straight down with his fist and splinters it to the ground. It just shakes out its remaining leaves and just falls apart. And that is all <laughs> your people. <laughs> That's everything. Uh, Karate yeah. chop without the chop. Yeah. Now, uh, again, because this is a new, I'm going to say, Marvel, are you or any of the people going to try to harvest anything from these creatures? Because oh. your Auntie Mimsy. <laughs> She's Told currently you, dying of laughter. <laughs> Temerity could help, I bet. And so can Temerity. I. 
Oh, it's yeah, right. He's got to look for ingredients stuff. and the herbs. And... I'll gather stuff for my aunt. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go right. pick up my, my blue crystal from blue. I have I'm going to go pick up my dagger. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I've got to retrieve the spear from the full cook. I'm gonna sit on this rock. Okay. So let me just make sure I get to artisans 82. All right. So um first you're going to need an intelligence check. I will be assisting you. And then there needs to be a medicine check. So an arcana check. And a medicine check. The Arcana check lets you know whether or not you can figure out. Well, first of all, I think really the only thing you can do is the cockatrice. The others don't really. To, to just plants. If y'all need me to do a medicine check, I'm proficient. Okay. So who yeah. can do an Arcana check to not find me. out? Not me. Not me. I'm medicine. Yeah, I'm real. I'm real dumb at magic. No wonder you. I'm, I'm, school. Yeah, no, but yes, that's the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> that's why characters are good. I've got a plus three. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's your arc. Huh? Um. So sorry. Anyone higher than a plus three? Not for Kana. Okay, I guess I'm rolling. Yami will look around, see what she can see. Nah. It, yeah, you're like organs. Oh no! Exactly. I don't. I, I'll do a medicine check now. You can't. It's if you can't. Okay. It, okay. She is unable um, to figure out where, what the organs are, or how you're supposed to harvest them. That's basically her part. First, you do the Arcana check. If the Arcana check works, you can try the medicine check. But can I try an Arcana? You could try it. Anybody can try it. There we go. You actually, you know, you really did listen to your auntie when she was talking. <laughs> my aunt. You know, it's you your go. auntie. There's medicine. Oh, yeah. I was, I was going to say I'm going to assist you with cutting cutting things out because that is something I'm good at. Yeah. I'm good at the meds. So you are able. Drugs, I've got you. To harvest uh, two eyes and... Let's see, uh, I believe it's the eyes and the brain, and I'm trying to find out what the DC of the brain is because I believe that's higher. Let me just make sure. I mean, that would make sense. It's inside the skull, it's squishy. Mm. Alchemy test table. Synthes no, I think no matter what, you, you can get. Um, you can get the eyes and 12 plus CR. It can't be a high CR. So yeah, you get the brain. And now you have two. Uh, also, I'll say, because you did so well at Arcana, you realize that um, these cockatrices, first, are unusually big for cockatrices, which are actually usually pretty tiny. Um, but for some reason, these ones are big. And you're also, like, really sure that these cockatrices is what caused somebody to turn into stone. Mm. Petrified mm. someone. I don't think you confirmed that. Mm. I'll let everybody know what I am. No. All right. And now you have two cockatrice eyes and one cockatrice brain. Viani would want to go to the edge of the cave and sort of look in, even though she can't see anything in the dark, and then maybe right. call um, Marble over and say, it's always good to check out, you know, the hiding place. Yeah, I'll go over and help. All right. Uh, who's going to do investigation, perception? I, I, I can, can help do, you do perception. I can do perception. I'm yeah. going to tip my fedora and be like, but actually, here's how you do it right and give them guidance. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you got guidance. <laughs> and advantage, because I'm Thank you, advantage. Miladi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what does Dennis do? Plus D4. Okay. <laughs> the, the advantage didn't do jack shit. 
well, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, um, so you do see um, there's some stuff in there. It, it looks like almost almost like magpie like there's like a pile of something that looks kind of like a nest and and there seems to be some stuff glinting in there you can't really make out what it is Marvel's gonna walk in my parents take a look my parents always say check the nest check the caves always look around i'm gonna look at the nest all right you're just gonna look at it yeah okay go ahead perception again Mm-hmm. Oh, oh dang! Yeah. All right. I was going to say we so should investigate it as well, but no, no need. You now know how many, sticks, I got all really stick, how many sticks it's made right. out of. <laughs> I can find the needle in the hay in these sacks. All right, so I. Hang on. Mm-hmm. Would like you to roll a d12. Okay. I'm not scared. You're scared. <laughs> and the what dragon comes out. Hell yeah. Nine. It's my pet dragon. Nine. Yeah, so nine. Monster baby. Now a dragon. Nine. Oh, no, nine. I'm having a problem. Sorry. Oh, it's in the. Oh. Oh. There we go. Um. So you have. That's my job. Um. Some you find some dog tags, a rock, um, <laughs> seven silver and nine copper pieces, um, a seashell, uh, and let's see, you also find a blue gem and go, 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 go. Uh, a brass ring and a diary written in a language you don't know. It's not a lot, but it these are uh, apparently creatures that just grab stuff. <laughs> ah, so like crows. Yeah, and just stick it all in there. Okay, I'm going to stick the blue gem in my pocket and then call everybody over and let them know what's in there. Right. Um, well, everyone, just because I don't know how long this will take, but every 10 minutes, I'm going to cast Mending on Wish to heal her up. Okay. Yeah, so if anyone wants anything in here, you can take it. I'm not interested in, in any of this. Uh, is the shell she's gonna walk out. a conch shell or is it a seashell, like a fan kind of seashell? I'm uh, a snail. It, it it's a um, it's a conch shell, but it's a little broken. When you mm. put your ear to it, can you still hear the ocean? Uh, roll perception. <laughs> Imagine if she fails this. I hope that it's not a high DC. There's no longer blood running through my ears. Perception. Oh, oh yeah, goodness. she she hears. She hears the seagulls and the waves. It's crazy. <laughs> well, she can hear the motion. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I'd like the shell, actually, if no one else wants it. Or we can share it. It's just nice to hear the sea. I, I, the rock um, that was there, is it... I pick it up. Does it look like it's like anything else than just a rock? How would you? All right. Why don't you roll perception? I guess or it's yeah, hard I guess to say. Just... Oops. Uh, let's go perception. I mean, you could roll an intelligence. All right. I'm better at. It. <laughs> um, you look at it for a while, and then you realize it's like a piece of raw agate. Like oh. a gem, but in a very raw form. You don't know if it's ever going to be worth anything or or not, but it's you know, maybe. No. 
they collected it for a reason, so maybe it's useful. I'll I'll take that. Can I suss out what this language is in this journal? Uh, what first? What languages do you speak? Uh, common, Elvish, uh, Abyssal, and Undercommon. Um, it is not one of those languages. You could do an um, do an intelligence check. Oh, All right. Well, you know, it's written in Infernal, oddly enough. Anyone know Infernal? Bertie's just going to take the journal off him. Do you have to ask? <laughs> just because you all... Hey, Zill, I think, I think, I think uh, Waltz might speak Infernal. He looks like the kind of person who would. <laughs> I don't. I give the book to the tiefling. All right. Uh, do you want to read it? Like, how much time would you spend sitting and trying to read this journal? Would you just glance at it, or would you, like, try to read it, read it? Bertie would flip to the last entry, then turn back a few pages and read from there. So probably five, ten minutes, depending how much time the individual spends writing in their journal. Okay. Um, the... Last several entries. Uh, so the last entry uh, is say says something like, "I am definitely going to meet him. I don't care what happens." And when you go back, um, you see something about there was a lover whose name was M. Um, this person, whoever they were, was desperately in love with M, but um, there was some kind of danger or some reason for not going and meeting M, and it appears that they just decided at the very last that they had to run away and find M, no matter what. Are there any dates? It's a diary. <laughs> um, there are, and but it's like this has been stuck in a nest with big, ugly cockatrices. Uh, like fair. it's not the most clear thing. And like with a lot of diaries, you know, they don't necessarily put the year on they just do the at least mm. the pages he's looking at they're just sort of doing that so uh from that the best you could say is it's been here at least since spring uh oh dear do we if we heard any rumors from the city about missing people Um, have you? Uh, let's see. I'd say somebody make a history check. I think I can help with that. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to like anything else in school besides history, I think. If I remember this right. Yeah. And I am going to remember my old uh, strategies for remembering the mnemonics for, for history things to give myself guidance. Ah, uh, I don't even think it matters. I've got a seven. Hey, you haven't heard shit, shit about that. Huh? Sorry, I tried. Unfortunately, Temerity's a little bit smart on these things. And you are. And in fact, it's because it was a tiefling that it reminds you it, that it's stuck <laughs> in your mind. This is the uh, a young tiefling not even a woman, like a like a teenager, um, 
had gone missing several months ago and there was talk about her having some kind of um romance with a soldier the soldier is still around though and claims never to have seen her or know what happened to her so where did he go to investigate the dog tags <laughs> okay <Yeah. laughs> They are all, they're just so corroded and rusted. They're dog tags, but. I think Viani would see Temerity struggling with them mm. and offer to help. Can she do an investigation on them? Yeah, you can take it and give it a look. Oh, good wow. Lord. Nice. <laughs> Tool monkey. <laughs> yes, Fucking <indeed>. rogues. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, this, at first you can't, like, again, it's, it's a mess. So you have to actually go and clean it up and sort of shine it up and, you know, do the whole thing. And then you see that it is, um, a Sergeant Morris Carpaccio. I share that with a group. I think I need to make a trip into town. Mm -hmm. I know somebody in town. If you guys don't have friends there. I met someone today. Nice lady. I think we need to track down a girl's family. And possibly a guard. Uh, we have to leave. Maybe the guards, but we need to go. Like... Go, go, go. She's it. Let's go. Can we leave this with your friend and explain the situation? Yes, of course. Right, she let's... knows um she knows Marvel's aunt. In that case, you and I headed to town. Honestly, let's... She doesn't know my aunt. Great. Can your aunt make like an antidote for this nonsense? Portia Greenleaf? I'm not sure. It's friends with you your, should your aunt. Ask your aunt. I'll ask her. Yeah, ask your aunt, see if she can make an antidote out of I'll, all the cockatrice spits. Yeah, I'll ask her <laughs> while I drop off the eyes and the brain. Yeah, that might be good. Then we might be able to turn Grandpa back. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to be staying a little longer after all. Okay, it's a good I, thing that we have the boss here. Right, and I'll translate this so that if we leave it with Marble's aunt, they have the story so they know what they're doing. Hey, we've got a scribe. He can write it down. Nice neat lettering. True. Yeah. Uh, if you want him to, like, write down, like, really go and sit down and, and rewrite the whole thing. Um, oh, no, we're not doing that. Okay, so maybe so... he would summarize. And... Yeah, okay. Sorry, summarize the last couple of entries so that the girl's family knows what happened. That's a fair big city. I'm sure there's someone else who speaks Infernal. Exactly. They could get it translated anyway once they've got it. All right. So mm. what are we doing about the potion thing? Are we giving them the ingredients so that they can turn Grandpa back? <laughs> Was that the plan? Or are we taking it to Aunt Mimsy? I think Aunt Mimsy is doing I feel like Aunt Mimsy is probably like the, the skilled one for this, so we should okay. give it to her. We should definitely talk to Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Do you call Mom? I said aunt. We're going to about to call her mom. No, no. is there something you want to tell us about with, okay. your, with, your, with your family? <laughs> okay. Like, I character. feel like there's a deeper shush. story here. Out of, shush. <laughs> out of character. Um, I stumble over actually, my voice because I can hear myself talk. Elden. Me. Yes. Insight. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is my insight? It's real bad. But we're going to do it anyways. Insight and is. Fail. Ah, seven. Ha, fuck you. <gasps> <laughs> you just love giving your friends trouble. You don't know nothing about them, though. <laughs> it's all you know. You get nothing. Right. Are we gonna then, like, split up and 
part of us head back to the circus, Temerity and I will I go into town? I think we're all heading to the circus for the moment. Okay. I mean, what, what, time is, what time of day is it? Oh, Probably it's pretty at late. night. This yeah. is light. Yeah, it's yeah. Late. This is the night job, remember? One last yeah. go before, one last job. So now we're going to go back, give the ad the ingredients, and ask them to make a potion. If we well, we're going to ask her if she can make made. overnight. No, we can. We'll ask her. We'll ask her if she can make a potion, and if she can't, we can give it. We can like yeah. give that to the family here, but maybe she might be able to come up with something like. Yeah, it's worth giving it a try to see if she can do something yeah. like right now. But if she can't, we'll leave all the stuff behind and be like, "Hey, this is what we found." And Mimsy says that you might be able to make a, a thing. I don't, we have to ask at Mimsy. Like, is it even possible? Is it? Yeah. Who knows? Right. Yeah. I just need to grab a book, and I'll be right back to find out what she can do. Did not know this was coming up. So, okay. That's okay. Um, <laughs> once, 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 wish is all is all healed up. I'm gonna go over to thick muscular thighs over here. What did, um, what happened? Talking to Miss Thick Muscular Thighs. What I mean, I just step away. What, what happened? We've cut up the cockatrice, we've stolen the ingredients, we've investigated their bring. nest, we found a journal, we found dog tags, we found a blue gem, which now apparently is in two different people's pockets at the same time. No, it's it's no, my no. pocket, because no one else knows that it's there. So I didn't right. tell them about that. I, I so took never the, the agate. Oh, okay, I'm getting confused. Then. Oh, fine. yeah, correct. Yeah. Uh, I'm the only one who knows about Oh, yeah. Them. Severity partially translated the journal, and now they know what happened to a girl that was rumored to have gone missing in the city a while ago. Who had had some kind of romance with a soldier, and there's also a pair of dog tags. Which are the soldiers who said they didn't know the girl. They never met the girl. Yeah, so, so we, we, we need to go have a talk with someone, or at least inform the family. Yeah, that's Severity's plan. Inform the family. And we're also gonna uh, give the eyes and brains of the of the cook to the um, to Aunt Mimsy to see if she can make a uh, use that to make a um, unpetrification potion to uh, help Grandpa. You're almost certain. I, I will just say right off the the top um, that she wouldn't be able to make it in a, a day or so. It would have to be. But she could tell you probably um, if there's any possibility. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, I know I cannot like I I'm proficient with alchemist stuffs. Even if it, I might be able to help her, maybe probably not as good as her, but I can offer like I know how to do some smart sciencey things too. Don't try to hook up with my aunt. <laughs> why, why not? This is uh, uh, if you go back and you and you talk to Aunt, so you go back to your big top area. Let's uh, do that. Get out of the cockatrice cave. Cave o' cock. All right. So you go back. To... I hate when I forget to bring myself over. There. Um, your followers are going to basically say that they need to rest. Um, and that's they go rest. Um, all right. And you're looking for Aunt Mimsy. Yes, I'll go to my Aunt Mimsy and hand her the eyes and the brain, and I'm going to show her the gem that I got. She says, oh, well, very successful. First, she looks at the eyes and the brain. She says, very well done. I'm so proud of you. You're natural. Uh, and the best. She uh, looks the 
Let's see if she knows about the blue gem. Let's just see. Uh, actually, wait, I did that wrong. I should. Where are you, Mimsy? There you are, right there. Have her do. Oh, there Jesus. Go. Oh, my goodness. This is worth 80 gold. Hmm. It's a little sapphire, isn't it pretty? You could have it made into a jewel, into your own jewelry, or uh, you could just sell it. Good point. I'm going to mm. put it back in my pocket. Decide what I'm going to do with that later. Mm. And then I'm going to ask her about the antidote. Um, she is going to say, I think I'll see exactly if, um, she says, I couldn't do it. And I don't off the top of my head know anyone who could, but it is possible with these ingredients and some other ingredients, of course. I, I just don't have the recipe for this sort of thing. But I think, you know, in the, the right person with the right recipes could do it. Okay. Thanks, Auntie. Huh. Anytime, sweetie. Then Marvel's going to let everyone else know. So leave the ingredients with the family and let them find someone. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Mm -hmm. We can we, we can be nice to them. We need we need to get going. They can solve their own problems. Yes, maybe we can convince them to like give us a little bit of extra gold because we were super nice and brought them back ingredients. But I don't this... suppose you to know anyone the college food have talent of alchemy uh do i was uh, there, was there an alchemy section at college like an alchemy major or something the, the chemistry department yeah. yes <laughs> there was but this is you're not real close to your school right now okay yeah um yeah uh i don't that was in my department i was in the uh, evocation major route um so i it's probably best to give it to the family they're they're wealthy enough and probably connected right. enough well we need to head into town anyway to give the girl's family the bad news so who wants to come along sure they're probably asleep at the right uh, now okay in the morning who wants to come along Hey. I'll pass over the ingredients to whoever's going. Um, I'll come along. I, you know, I'll pass you. I'm the good-looking one here. Uh, I'll and also, I can like, I can come. I'll, I'll put on, I'll put on my noble's clothes and come as nicely dressed as I can. Okay, you're the one person I'm not gonna hand the ingredients to. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm not. We gotta leave. Like I don't have enough time for that. Vianney is gonna tag along, but <laughs> this is stuff that like other people handle, you know. Mm. So. All right. So are you going now, or are you going tomorrow in the morning? Going in the morning. All right. So you guys want to go and have a uh, rest. Tomorrow, to meditate at least. Yes, please rest. Long rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get your spell slots back, everyone. Uh, the scribe. If you give the 
your scribe friend, the um, uh, you're gonna ha help have to uh, help him. Have to translate he's... for him because my yeah. temerity would give him yeah. a summary version of the last couple of chapters, which he'll take down. You know, chapters entries. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll say the next. Um, it, does anybody else, before I sign off, need to do anything or want to do anything? I'm good. Okay. All right. So the next day, um, it's raining. It's kind of junky out. Uh, so you take the the things that you have collected uh and you head into the city excuse me sorry i haven't been sorry anyway uh you head once again into the city and you look to find uh who are you going to visit first like there's two there's the family of the people who were petrified there's the family of the um young woman and then there's the guard so who are you going for i would say we could be best served going to find the family of the petrified one first okay all righty so that's the clapham family uh, they are a wealthy family uh, in town. Uh, the older gentleman's name was Bernard Clapham. Uh, and Talio didn't really know who the other people were. Like, he, he didn't directly talk to anybody in the family, and it didn't matter to him. By the way, uh, you all got five hundred and fifty dollars total for that, so you can split that up however you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bianni doesn't do math. <laughs> five hundred and fifty in total, yeah. But ten percent off for the circus no, fund. No, five fifty in total, yeah. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. five fifty. All right. Cool. Take away fifty five. Take away fifty five gold. Four, nine, that five. leaves us four nine four nine five. Then divide it by seven. Well, I mean that depends on if you want to give the the two um, followers. We should give them a tip, like. So how much would it be? Well, how much would it be for seven of us? Fifty-five each. Fifty-five dividing each. So I nine, say we dividing each... it nine ways. It's no, no, no. That's that's each. too much. They didn't do enough work there to deserve that. Um, I say uh, if like, we each throw in like two gold, they can each have like seven gold. That's because yes. they're getting paid anyway, right? <laughs> no, they're not. You're not paying. You don't give them. We give them salaries. We we give them salaries, but this is extra, isn't it? Two from yeah. each of us is fourteen. From... Yeah. Which is like half of what we made. What? What? No, we made a lot more than that. Right. Each? We're, we each it's make like 40 70 what? each plus five. Yeah. So. 50. Close enough. Yeah. I round down or up or whatever is easiest. <laughs> so oh, we're, all, we... we're, all getting, we're all getting a bit tired with it. Right. I think it should be just for the sake of diagenesis and everything like that. They put in the work. So they get an equal share of everything else. Oh, yeah, if we really want to go into yeah. the things of like, oh, who gets what and everything like that, you know, realistically. And like, it does go up the really... ethos of the circus uh, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay them, yeah. pay them. We'll split it up between nine and then yeah. we'll give the extra to the to the so circus. So, yeah. so how much? I think I treat my family this 55. <laughs> 55, okay. Okay. So you make it to a street with a lot of brownstones. Um, 
and about a third of the way down is one with a very um a bright red door and uh, a blazing light outside of it um it's a very warm brown just you know tall brownstone building and this is the clapham family residence actually it's morning now so i'm sorry it wouldn't be blazing light it would just be um but you know for those people that are there you have found the clapham residence well Elden, you're the one who dressed up for this you get to knock i knock by man all right you are met by an obvious servant um in a prim serving attire he says yes can i um, help you she's looking around at this rather motley crew that is there um this is a fairly wealthy looking house ish yes okay um so i'll 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 hand out my hand and flash my my crest my family crest uh because i do have me one of those um introduce myself oh hello good sore this is uh me and my compatriots have um found some interesting information regarding your family we wanted to share it with you um i know that they're a bit of a mess but you know it's no. uh we had we had yet to help oh we don't uh, have as good as standards as you do clearly of course uh, yeah oh may, may i speak in. with the, the house the household please uh, of course absolutely and she mm -hmm. brings you into like a parlor um and after a moment or two a a young ish uh gentleman comes in older than you but not like by a lot um he is um he has like flaxen hair that's a little sparse on top uh he has a pointed goatee a little beard warmer looking thing um gray eyes and he says uh, yes yes can i help you Okay, who's got I the understand stuff? you have some information. Who's got the stuff? Who's got the letter and the tags? You're thinking of the wrong family. Shit. This, this the is eyes the and one. Brains. We got the eyes and brains. Okay, Grandpa. Yes. Um, I pass it off. Yeah, you to pass whoever. it. Whoever's got it. Um, uh, we heard that your um, uh, I believe maybe your father had a uh, turned to stone, something around that, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, Tragic. My grandfather yes. yes very tragic um uh we um we were hired to find out about uh, what had caused uh yeah. such an illness and it turns out that a nest of cockatrice uh were nearby and uh with their innate ability managed to turn your grandfather into a um into stone um i'm sorry that that is the information that i must bring you but that is what happens however um my crew and i uh, managed to scavenge these and i bring out the brain and the jar and the eyeballs oh oh um, i know they're disgusting i know but hear me paula, out paula paula come get the bring a jar or vat i'm not sure how to keep this now nah, you, might, you might need to figure out a way to keep it fresh but um we have been uh, in contact with an alchemist very um very professional lady uh who says that you might be able to have a potion to reverse the effects of the cockatrice on your grandfather on your father um specifically on your these are some of the ingredients required yes yeah there might be more ingredients uh, and it might take some time and money but um person like yourself i'm sure would not struggle with, with such a thing um, well not for grandpapa yes um well, family is very important to them. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to you know a little little extra extra gesture from us to bring these to you so you might be able to get your grandpa back um certainly thank you um 
I, I appreciate uh, your extra effort. And um, Paula has come in and she has taken one look at this stuff and gone, but she's sort of taken it away. Uh, and he says, Paula, come back with my purse when you have a moment. Uh, and after a few minutes, she does come back and he takes, he says, um, for your generous time and effort, I, I know that you circus folk are um, out upon the way and he hands you 20, well, actually, throw me charisma. Not persuasion or... You haven't actually tried to persuade him. That is how about how about how about I gave him a wonderful performance? You're really pushing that. I am. It's plus. It's plus four rather than plus two. It's just. All right. Let's roll. Let's, Let's just roll. see how your charm is. Oh, it's a ten. Uh, I'll get you. So for that, you get. Um, he takes out an extra 20 gold. Well, thank you very much, sir. Um, I hope that your grandfather is well again soon and uh, your family can be reunited. Absolutely. Thank you, uh, young men. And, and thanks for ridding us of these nasty beasts. Uh, vermin. Oh, yeah. Those maple trees are... I mean, uh, no, the cockatrices. Yeah, no, they're awful. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, Paula, will you show our guests out? Um, A moment. Um, it's been... It's unfortunate, but some time ago in the spring, a girl went missing after rumours of herself and a guard. I don't suppose you know the girl's family at all. Or could you point us in the direction? Okay. Uh, roll uh, persuasion. Uh, well, not well, of course. Um, there is a, another family who had uh, adopted a tiefling child and uh, unfortunately the girl was well she was wild uh, but uh, we don't consort with them but uh, we are their names let me get them and he rifles through his book just like i'm doing now ah uh, yes um Sorry. Ah. Yes, the um I wrote it down. I know I did. Oh, the Nuravals. The Nuravals, they are a um half elven mostly family. But uh they live and he gives you he's going to give you directions. I don't know. I've never been to their home specifically, but I know that they live in um this particular quarter and he gives you sort of directions to get to that quarter uh and Finch. i i understand the the girl's name was a uh, morning thank you very much you may You're have welcome. brought peace to another family thank you very much mm. Right, and he uh, has you escorted out. All and right. Temerity is going to turn to Arden and say, do you want to come or um, are you finished? I can come along. I can help okay. out. And Timothy will follow the instructions and go to this, go to that quarter. All right. Uh, you are in a 
it's not like a bad area of town, but it's certainly a much more happening area. Like not, it, it doesn't have that sort of old money vibe. This is uh, a little bit more fun. Um, do we want to end here and pick this up next section or play through? I am starting to get be real tired and starting to so my concentration is starting to slip. Yeah. Okay. So I, I wouldn't mind um, right. calling it a night. Yeah, let's pick it up at uh, the next family's thing next time. Okay. Cool. cool. Well, thanks everyone for playing and thanks everyone who, who is watching. And all that's left to be said until next Saturday is goodbye from me and goodbye from the party. Say goodbye, party. Goodbye, 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 goodbye party. party. Hey, they did the bit. Mm -hmm.